And now we wait. Now we wait for everyone to start showing up. Oh, there we go. There's the people. Welcome, everybody. Oh, wow. There's everyone showing up all at once again. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm just going to give y'all a minute to come, uh, to come pouring in here before I start getting into anything here. PNG tuber pastor, yeah, that's right, that's right. We got um, we got the what do you call this? Like a VTuber model or whatever. We got like an application to uh, be able to set Clyde up to have some animations with him now. We're living the fancy life. We're getting the stream upgraded. <laughs> Let me see how everyone's doing here. All right, I'm seeing 400 of you now. There. <laughs> We all abandoned. We all abandoned you for Adventure Time. I, I don't mind. Adventure Time's a great show. I, if at any point anyone wants to leave this uh, stream to watch Adventure Time, you can feel free to. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm seeing all you pouring in. What Spooky's jump scared big house act de revolution? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Half Face in this game. <laughs> the content is awesome. Thank you, Purple Person. Very nice of you. Alright, so, uh, while people are pouring in here, uh, I figure those of you who are here early, I'm just gonna talk about some little upgrades I've made since the last stream. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm hoping that the title screen music here isn't too loud for everyone. Um, if, if, like, the title screen music's, like, too loud or too quiet, please tell me right away. Uh, I don't want me to be overshadowing it or it to be overshadowing me, so, uh, but we got some upgrades. First of all, um, we've uh, upgraded since the last stream. You can no longer, uh, no longer, if you type a curse word, will the stream hide, uh, will the stream hide you? So that's good. Um, Cause I know that was a problem with the last stream. We're also gonna be running at a nice smooth 60 frames per second. So uh, better frame rate than last time. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm getting some kind of weird warning thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see people are sending curse words in the chat to show me that this supposed change I made isn't actually working. Thank you for that. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. How do I fix this? I'm gonna make this the best stream possible. Can't have people constantly getting their messages hidden because they put curse words in the chat because that would be a nightmare for my mods to deal with again. Okay. Guys, 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 I haven't fixed it yet. You, you don't need to keep spinning. Guys, stop! How the hell do I change this? How the hell do I stop this chat from having stuff held? Oh, we've already got some uh, super chats. Maybe add some other emotions to the PNG. Oh, well, I was actually gonna show that off here in a second. I do have some other emotions for it. Uh, I'm just trying to set it up so that it doesn't hide every single person who curses so that my mods don't have to constantly worry about showing or hiding messages because I don't want them to be uh, dealing with that nightmare. I just have no idea how to because I'm not exactly a professional streamer here. If anyone wants to, uh, like, help me out here, uh... Because I'm not seeing it in my stream settings. Unless there's something I'm just not noticing here that's right in front of my face. Hmm. I... hmm. I have no idea how to fix this, guys. I guess we'll label the stream language.
Uh, let me see here. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. I'll... Who cares about- Hey Pastor, I love your content. Will you be putting up your Bendy stream anywhere as a VOD or no? Uh, my Bendy stream is currently public on my channel. Uh, you can go and check it out uh, whenever you want, but uh, thank you so much for the $5 donation. That means a lot to me. I'm not even playing the game yet and they're already getting that, so that's greatly appreciated. Uh, let's see. Just gonna be setting up some, uh, just be changing some settings here, guys, before I start playing the game, so, uh, you gotta, you gotta bear with me here, we're still very new to this. YouTube about my bitrate, whatever that means. Uh, uh, here, just a second. Oh, okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. I just gotta go into my YouTube studio. So we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with this as it is. Um, if there's any problems with it going forward, people oh never mind, it's not. Why why does this have to be so difficult for me? Oh there we go there we go I got it now I I fixed it. It should now, should now, it shouldn't block any of these messages. So, uh, we're gonna actually properly start this stream now that uh, I think it's done with. So, welcome everybody to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Um, now, whenever I was doing a previous stream, I told everyone here that, um, originally, when I hit 100k subscribers, uh, I was gonna do a spooky stream like, way back when, around the time I was at, like, 50k, and I was thinking, whoa, 100k is a possibility. I wanted to do a spooky stream and then a video analyzing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. But, you know, like I said in that stream, whenever I got uh, into playing Bendy and the Ink Machine, that game ended up actually overlapping uh, and taking over my love for Spookies. Oh, hey, hey, Pastor, game suggestion, you should try Iron Lung. Uh, thank you for the $10 donation. I have played Iron Lung, actually. It's a pretty cool game. Um, nothing I'd ever make a video on, personally, because I don't think there's anything I could say about it that people haven't already, but it's, it's a pretty good game. I like its whole thematic. But like I was saying, though, um, yeah, whenever I made the Spookies, or the Bendy stream, I said that that game ended up being, like, my new favorite after I... Uh, played through it, so I decided to do that as a stream, and that's the video I'm currently working on. But, I still really love Spookies, so when I held that poll to see what game you guys wanted me to play next on here, I was very excited to see that this was the game that won. 
since, like I said, this was the game that was, I was going to stream originally anyway. And in preparation for this stream, I got a application here. It was recommended to me by Theft King. Uh, I think it's for, it's like, I don't know if it's for like VTuber models or if it's specifically for PNGs. I guess I'm like a, well, what am I now, chat? Like a PNG tuber, VTuber? Like what, what, what does this classify as? I, I'm assuming PNG tuber. Also, thank you for the $1 donation, uh, Party Soul Queen. I'm gonna assume that's how you say your name. Uh, but yeah, this application we've got, uh, now, with the click of a button, it should change the expression that Clyde is showing off at any given point. So, now we can have the most emotive stream possible here. <laughs> hey guys, no, no, guys, don't. Don't stop calling me an Alice Sim, guys. This is, a, this is a completely different game. This is a completely different game. You can't bring her up here. This is Spookies. This is, we aren't playing Benny anymore. You keep Alice out of this. You keep Alice out of this. Ayo, hey, Jenny Chris again. Have, an, have more of my money. Thank you for the $3 donation. I, I remembered you from the Bendy stream. I appreciated it then, and I appreciate it now. You're very, very nice. Um, so, without further ado, though, we're gonna hop right into Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Oh, does Clyde say GIF or JIF? Uh, Clyde says GIF. Thank you for the $2 donation. Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hop into Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion right away. Um, to those of you who've seen this game before, um, I hope I can bring something new to it. Uh, I'm gonna be going through it and explaining a lot of what I like about it, just like I did with Bendy, because this is my second favorite horror game ever made. And, um, to those of you who are gonna be new to this game, I hope that this will be a good first experience for you. So we're gonna start a new game right away. Um, not sure if we're gonna be able to get to the DLC tonight. My hope is to get through the regular game, or at least get really close. So, uh, we're just gonna get started here. Got a spooky talk here. Alright, and so we start. And I'm already seeing two donations. Balthazar, haven't played this game, but the music is so good. I could not agree more. Uh, Crow Neon, don't worry, Pastor. I know there's gonna be a lot of simping in the stream, too. Oh, <laughs> man, I love the PNG tuber, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you to both of you for the $5 donations. That is really appreciated. But yeah, um, so to those of you who don't really know much about Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, uh, the basic premise is that we are inside this massive haunted house owned by that little ghost we saw earlier named Spooky. And the whole idea is that there are 1,000 rooms to this massive mansion, and we've got to make it through all 1,000 while dealing with whatever little tricks are going to be happening to us. And we've got some letters here. At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This isn't romantic at all. Also, there's gonna be a couple of recurring characters in these notes. Um, you can always tell who they are just based on like their sort of writing style. It's kind of a cool little thing with this. Um, oh, bones right away. I don't know who would see this place as like a romantic getaway, but uh, mm, not sure her voice acting, high quality stream, thank you. I'm, I'm very, uh... all right. Cory Byte, for the thank you for the ten dollar donation. If program is Vito Tube Mini, it is meant for PNG tubing, and technically the definition of PNG tuber basically is what you've been doing since the beginning of the channel. Uh, yeah, that is the program I've been using, and thank you again for the ten dollar donation. Uh, good to see it's for PNG tubers then. Guess I'm a PNG tuber. I guess that makes sense. A first specimen, one appearance. Yeah, I'm surprised it was like one of the spooky looking faces the first time around. I'm used to uh. I'm used to seeing the little cutesy guys. I wasn't ready for him so early. I have 50 characters. I have 50 characters. You're my favorite creator right now. Thank you, Marsh Bud, for the $2 donation. That means a lot to hear from you. So yeah, um, I guess while I'm just kind of like walking around aimlessly waiting for stuff to happen, I'm kind of gonna just talk about like the things I really like about this game. So before I played Bendy, this was my favorite horror game ever made. And it still is, oh, hello, note. 
I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some kind of destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I'm dreadfully thirsty. Whoa. But yeah, um, so I guess the thing that I really liked about this game initially when I played it was kind of the same thing as Bendy, where I got into it and, oh, uh, Super Mario 1096, thank you for the $2 donation. Do you play Hollow Knight? Yes, I do. It is my favorite game ever made, actually. Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. Oh, we got some more donations. You don't mind if I do a design analysis vid on Lankman? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Thank you for the 10, or not 10, $2 donation. And we've got keyboard smash, $5 donation. Hi, hello. Um, thank you everyone for the donations we've already got so far. But uh, yeah, the thing that I really liked about this game when I initially got into it was the art style. Just like, just like how Bendy pulled me in. I guess just as an artist myself, cool, unique art styles for games are like the immediate thing where I'm like, ooh, ooh, I wanna play this. And I saw that Spookies had like this really interesting blend of like hand-drawn character designs, 3D models, and like pixelated graphics. Oh, hey Pastor, what's Clyde's favorite food and does he like Dead Cells? Uh, thank you for the $10 donation. Dead Cells is an awesome game. I absolutely adore it, and uh, Clyde's favorite food is gummy bears because he does not like eating healthy. Uh, yeah, so like, I saw that this game had this like really lovely blend of like 3D models, pixel graphics, and hand-drawn animation. I was immediately like, yeah, this looks awesome. Oh wow, two more donations right away. What is the consensus on recommending games? I have one I think you'd like, but I don't want to be pushy. I am always happy to get recommendations. Also, have you seen the new trailer for Silk Song? Of course I have. Uh, hey, big man, glad to see you streaming again. I've decided every time you stream I want to make at least one donation. Well, that's greatly appreciated. Uh, shut up and make, take my money, Spaghetti Dad. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got Pharaoh's Funny Man with the one dollar donation. Greatly appreciated. Corbite. I hate that I miss words when typing super chats. I meant to say if the program is, not if program. Really embarrassing. I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> stop donating. I want to hear Pastor rant about the game. <laughs> it's fine. I'll keep ranting. <laughs> Thank you all so much for all the donations so far. Every single one of you. I appreciate it so, so much. Uh, it means the world to me. You have no idea. But okay, as I was saying, Spookies. Um, I really loved the art style of this game because, like, my three kind of favorite, um, my three favorite art styles are, like, sort of design thematics, we'll say. Aesthetics. That's the word I'm looking for. My three favorite aesthetics for um, horror games are like hand-drawn, like hand-drawn characters, like PlayStation 1 graphics and pixel art. And this is the only horror game I've ever played that has all three present at the same time. The One Shadow Fox. Hi, Pastor. Hello. Thank you for the donation. It's greatly appreciated. But uh, so this game has all three of like the major design elements I love in horror games. So I saw that and immediately jumped in and like, I didn't know what to expect from it. I didn't know like whether this was actually a genuine horror game or if this was like a parody game. And we got another note here. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. I feel like you'd know if that was red wine at that point or if you were drinking a bottle of blood, but yeah, so. I jumped into it not expecting this, like, sort of expecting this to be like a parody game that was kind of just played up with a lot of jokes, but, oh, another note, hello. I don't think that was one. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. But, um, what I was delighted by, oh, thank you, Void Bean, for the $1 donation. Um, what I was delighted by when I played this game was that, uh, it's actually kind of a combination of both. This is a game that is willing to have like a fun sense of humor while also uh, being genuinely scary at times. Oh, Galaxy the Artist. Are you okay with fan art of all your characters? Are there any characters you'd, uh... oh wait, let me. Yeah, sorry, I don't, have, I don't have notifications set up for Super Chats guys yet. I'm trying to, it's just, I'm not very good with computer stuff, so I'm learning. Uh, so if I have to pause it to see Super Chats, I apologize, but like it's annoying. Are there any characters that are off limits? No, definitely not. If you want to draw a fan out of my characters, you go right ahead. Thank you for the donation. 
did you take a look at Cruelty Squad yet? Um, I'll not shut up until you make a video on it. Um, I haven't checked it out yet, but I definitely will. It's on like my little list of game recommendations I've gotten from people. And thank you very much for the donation. But um, yeah, I think what I kind of ended up really loving about this game, and what it really delighted me about it was that it's a game that it, it's a it's, it's both a parody of the horror genre while also paying homage to it and adding its own stuff to it that can be genuinely frightening at times. Lankman pays rent. Do other characters pay rent? And how much rent does Lankman and others pay? Lankman's rent is whatever the hell he can. It kind of just varies. Uh, other characters, I don't really have anyone else living with me. Thank you so much for the $5 donation, though. But yeah, I think what's awesome about this game is the fact that, like, all of the monsters... Oh, <laughs> before I go on a massive rant, we got two more donations. You guys are insane today. Oh my god. This game is mouth sweet all about the horrors of unpaid internships. It's simple, but still unsettling. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. Thank you for the donation. I'm currently preparing stuff for my final exam, and I haven't... I have an eight hours. This stream is gonna power me through all my, an all-nighter. Thank you for the donation. I wish you the best on that exam. I know what it's like to be like super stressed out studying. Just don't push yourself too hard. You're gonna, if you push yourself too hard, you're gonna just end up getting nothing out of it, I think. Uh, do, do stuff at your own pace. Um, oh, this is the endless hallway. But yeah, like, this game's super cool because, oh, your opinion on beanbag chairs. Oh, they're so comfy. I wanna get one for myself, actually. Uh, thank you for the donation. But like, <laughs> yeah, turn back, you fool. I know, guys, I know. Hi, Pastor, not sure if you knew this, but Akuma Kira, this game's creator, also did Lost in Vivo. I did hear about that. Um, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, but doesn't the, uh, I think it's Specimen, I think it's Specimen 8 is the Deer Lord. Didn't that Specimen get like a backstory? Uh, like, did we actually learn about their backstory in that game in some way? You'll have to, you'll have to let me know about that, but um, like, the, the thing I find really, really cool about this game is the whole fact that, like, each of the monsters and each of the specimens that chases after you, um, they all kind of pay homage to some kind of genre of horror in some way, or they pay homage to, like, some piece of inspiration that's very clear. And a lot of those pieces of inspiration were things that, like, I really liked growing up. Oh, hey, Pastor, you've quickly become one of my favorite YouTubers. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the donation. I'm doing great today. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, like, oh, all right, here we are, guys. Uh, first, first specimen of the game. This guy, uh, he's not too crazy, but he's honestly one of my favorites. Your videos are amazing. Will you ever go back to FNAF? Uh, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Um, to answer your question about Five Nights at Freddy's, um... I really, really love the FNAF games, and the videos I made on it were extremely fun to make. However, um, I'm kind of avoiding making FNAF content at the moment just because I'm feeling pretty burned out from all the FNAF content, and honestly, with the current with the current things going on in the community, I don't really have much motivation to either, because it kind of just is upsetting to look at. I've uh, been watching since the first two, two FNAF videos. Are there any FNAF games you haven't beaten or played? Uh, no, I've actually played through every single one. Uh, thank you so much for the donation, though. And sweet, like, donuts, thank you for your $1 donation, or whatever currency that is. I'm not good at that, but thank you anyway. Um, we're gonna read this note, though, and let our good friend come after us. Spouting, splashing, soaking. Innards ingest invoking. Nailing never stops the choking. boy yeah so this is specimen two he is the first out of our specimen roster um and he's he's honestly pretty cool does the goop go off um if you're if you're asking about like the little ink puddles uh i mean they just kind of sit there and you and they slow you down but like this uh this specimen is extremely simple mechanically doesn't have anything really uh unique going on but i just i really love him for what he is I'm- I guess I'm just a sucker for, like, slime-themed monsters in a lot of games, if you couldn't tell from the Bendy stream. And I like his whole, like, weird green look and all, like, the choking sounds he makes when he chases you around. Uh, yeah, I love that he flies towards you, too. His- his uh, death screen's pretty awesome, too. Um, little streak was silly. Also, thank you for the $5 donation, I saw that, don't worry. Um, yeah, it's- 
this this guy's a pretty good uh this guy's a pretty good introduction to like the specimens of the game he's not too challenging to deal with i don't think i've ever died to him normally except for endless modes he's just kind of like the nice little beginning specimen and i will say too in endless modes um he actually can screw you over depending on who you're like dealing with because his like goo that slows you down can make it so that certain characters catch you really easily and uh correct me if i'm wrong but i believe specimen 2 was actually inspired by a monster from uh adventure time actually i forget the name of them but they were these like weird black and green like tooth monsters in adventure time and they look just like him so Pharaoh's funny man, thank you for the one dollar donation. Mystery Drow, how does Lankman deal with stairs? Does he look kind of funny going up or down them? Uh, he goes up five stairs at a time. It's terrifying. Thank you for the donation. Hey Pastor, if you oh <laughs> we chat just pushed one up. Sorry guys. Uh, hey Pastor, it's clear you've been putting in the work and effort. Don't stress everyone starts somewhere. Thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for saying that. That was very nice, and thank you for the donation. That means a lot to hear. Um, Love Club, thank you. That's what they were called. Yes, yes. I remember I saw um, Specimen 2 for the first time, and I thought he looked like one of those immediately, so it was pretty cool to see that he was inspired by it, because, like, Adventure Time was, like, my favorite show from my childhood, so that was pretty awesome to see whenever I saw there was a character inspired by it. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere, or someone is taking them. Yeah, it's kind of a creepy implication. Stay hydrated if you need to drink the slime. That's true. I don't know why that guy didn't just drink the slime, honestly. Whoa. Oh, hello, Mercer Holt. Thank you for the $50. Can't stay for long. I'm a trucker and I have an early morning delivery tomorrow. Just wanted to say thanks for the amazing <laughs> the, the amazing content. Your vids help understand why FNAF's gameplay was appealing. Thank you so much. That is genuinely so nice of you. Uh, Oliver, hey, Pastor. Love your style of video and your art. Big inspiration to me. Thank you so much. What's your favorite and least favorite specimen? Um, I'll answer that in just a second because I got another one below you. Wanted to send some love. I really love your work. Thank you so much. And to answer the previous donation, um, my absolute favorite specimen in this game is specimen 11. I really love the whole like orange demon thematic. I love his chase music. I love the area you meet him in and I love his mechanic. Pretty much every reason he could have to be my favorite specimen he is. Um, and to anyone who can't remember which one specimen 11 is he's like the weird fast food demon and if i were to pick a least favorite specimen um it's kind of hard because i really like all of them however um i'd probably say that my least favorite may be i don't, I don't even remember which number it was i think my least favorite's probably the siren just because i'm not too big on their mechanic i don't find it too fun to play against but they're still pretty cool also, I saw two more donations that just got slipped by. Hey, Pastor, have you been playing the, Ameri the American McGee's Alice and Alice Madness Returns? I've heard about those. Those are super cool. I want to try them out. Uh, thank you for the donation. How's it going, Pastor? Hope you continue making amazing videos. I'll, I'll be sure to, or at least I'll try. Um, I've been working my ass off on the big 100K special. We are, like, 14 pages into script, and I'm not even halfway through. Hey, Pastor, I know you saw my character, J. Joy Rabbit on Instagram, and I'm just curious, what do you think of the, uh, of my devil in roadkill's clothing? I think your character looks really, really cool. I love the design. Um, I love the art you made, too, with, uh, with, like, my characters there. I thought that was awesome. What character do I simp for in this game? Guys, guys, I don't simp for a character in every game I play. Come on. Come on. I'm not that down bad. Alice was a special exception, guys. Come on. 13 is the siren and yeah not too interesting yeah like she's not a bad specimen by any means um she's pretty cool i like i love the music that plays when she chases you it's just nothing too exciting for me oh and he's after us again hey pastor just want to thank you for getting uh me back into horror i'm glad to hear that i was able to and ooh, 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 hi. <laughs> and thank you for the donation and i saw that there was another one there that slipped by me but uh i saw that i just saw like here's another one so thank you for donating again you really don't need to you have a th no no i do not no no i just think slime monsters are cool no 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 nothing like that i promise i promise alice was an exception guys <laughs> simp yeah what do you think about specimen four? Do you like her? Um, 
Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I met, I'm pretty bad with the numbers of these guys, if you couldn't tell. Um, specimen 4, if I'm right, is the ring girl. Like, she, she's the one inspired by, like, the ring, right? The ghost girl? If it's her, I absolutely love her. I think she's super cool. Also, I saw somebody asking how old I am. I am 19. Alright, we're already 100 rooms in. I'm getting a sip of water. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I've seen Specimen 4 is Ringu. Yeah, she's awesome. Her area is one of my favorites. I love her chase music, and I love, like, the way her mouth unhinges while she chases you. Haha, <laughs> you're old. You're the same age as me, dude. <laughs> Hi, thank you for the donation, uh, Super Small Bean. That means a lot to me. We need to put you in a retirement home. Come on, guys. Come on, I'm not that old. Do you know what an SCP is? Yes, I absolutely love SCP. It's one of my favorite things to read up on. I think it is a super cool, like, community. Hey, Pastor, have you ever played Welcome to the Game? No! However, that was on my list of games to potentially stream, because I genuinely think the idea of it is horrifying. <laughs> so that'll be a fun game to stream if y'all want to hear me shriek like a little child. Um, but yeah, like, I forget what I was even talking about. Damn. I lose my train of thought easily, guys. I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> oh, SCP! Right, right, SCP. Um, no, yeah, I love SCP. Um, I think it's so cool that we have, like, this big community collaboration to just, like, make this whole, like, mythos. And a lot of SCPs and characters have actually inspired a lot of, D and, like, D&D &D characters I've written. Um, I think my favorite character in SCP is the Scarlet King. I think the idea of his, him is super cool, and I love, like, the interpretations of his design. Also, we've got some, uh, lovely arcade games here. So, uh, we're going to be enjoying these for a little bit. Alright, I hope you guys- I hope you guys enjoy this. Check this out. BAM! Whoa. I'm really good at this game. That's- that's, uh, Mrs. Spook. Uh, Mall of Spook. Okay, watch this. I'm really good at this one. Check this out. So I stab. I stab. And this is- this is the game, guys. This is Spookies now. This is gonna be the entire stream now, guys. Actually, wait, I just saw a donation. I'm not letting that pass by. Hey, wish you a good day, and also, what is your opinion on pixel art? I think pixel art is awesome. I love- Like, I'm a- I'm just a sucker for, like, old graphics in general. I love, like, PlayStation 1 graphics and pixel art a ton. Whoa. Just wanted to say that I made a plush of Dark Revival Bendy and was wondering if you wanted to see it. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for the donation. What's your opinion on FNAF World? Um, I know that, like- Like, okay, FNAF World is a weird thing for me, because I don't necessarily think FNAF World is a bad game, by any means. I think it has, like, a really fun sense of humor, and, um, I, like, I actually like the soundtrack of it a ton, because, I mean, like, I use a song from FNAF World in my intro, but my big problem with FNAF World is that at no point when I was playing FNAF World did I ever feel like I was playing a FNAF game. Like, it just strayed so far from Five Nights at Freddy's that I feel like I would have enjoyed it more if Scott just made an RPG in the FNAF World style that had nothing to do with Five Nights at Freddy's, you know? Like, it's, it's a fun game, it's just not really a FNAF game, so I can't like it as a FNAF game. British spooky. Sorry, I gotta go. Good luck and good stream, Pastor. Thank you, uh, and I'll see you later. I'm glad you were able to stop by at all. I didn't donate much, but I hope it helps. No, don't ever worry about- like, don't ever feel like you donate too little. Like, the fact that you're here- the fact that you're here watching the stream- is more than enough for me. You do not need to donate at all. Don't, like, if you donate even a dollar, do not feel like you are obligated or should have spent more on me. You, you really don't need to. <laughs> do you like cats? Absolutely. I am a huge cat person. I have three cats at home and I love them all very dearly, even though some of them are brats. I do, yeah, I'm good at this game. Lots of endless mode. I love watching you streaming. Yeah, thank you. I love streaming. What is SCP? Uh, SCP is like this, it's, it's really cool, it's this, it's this fictional foundation that was made up, um, where the whole idea is that it's like this foundation that, uh, contains, like, anomalous, like, objects, creatures, and entities, and catalogs them, and the whole idea is, like, it's this massive, sort of collaborative writing project where a bunch of people come together to, um, like, submit their own SCPs and have them be, like, part of the official mythos, and there's a bunch of stories behind it. It's 
It's super, super cool. I just, I just love stuff like that, because, like, you get to see, like, when you, when you read up on SCP stuff, you get to see so many different, like, creative minds and different, like, creative styles being expressed. It all feels like it's coming from, like, completely different people, and I love that. Same feeling about FNAF World. Also, what has Lankman been doing for the past eight days? Is he taking a nap? Uh, okay, so Lankman has been, he has been napping a lot. He's been proofreading a lot of my script for the Bendy video I'm working on. I kind of need him for that. Um, and other than that, he's just been kind of eating all my food. Hello, Spaghetti Demon. Hello, thank you for the $2 donation. Clyde, what is your thoughts on the FNAF ARGs? Uh, if you're referring to, the, like, the stuff going on with, like, when MatPat was trying to get an ARG started, I just think that was kind of silly. Uh, oh, alright, you guys are about to meet, uh, the next specimen. Um, this guy, I think, is pretty cool. I, I really like this one. Um, correct me if I'm wrong about this. I believe this, uh, specimen was inspired by Resident Evil, which is one of my favorite game series of all time. So, I got really excited when I learned about that being potentially the case. Um, hey, Pastor, you inspired me to keep drawing, and I love your content. Thank you so much. I'm glad I was able to. Oh, and we got another one. It's slipping by me. Hey, Pastor, have you ever heard of the RPG horror It Moves, based on the creepypasta bedtime story? I have heard of that one, and I started watching Markiplier play it. However, that was a game I stopped watching because I thought I'd potentially play it sometime. Alright. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spooky we need more funds for sedatives. Sedatives? I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Generic lab assistants. You made a bendy parody of We Don't Talk About Bruno. Oh, you made one. You want me to send it to you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'd love to see it. Thank you for the donation again. You are, like, you've been donating so much to me. I don't know what to say, man. First stream with the gentleman. Uh, my happy you join, you enjoy spookies. Slight side question. Am I deafened or did they ditch the unique specimen? Or the unique specimen music? Uh, no they didn't. If you're questioning why you didn't hear it whenever I was being chased by specimen 2 earlier, that's because, um, sometimes it doesn't play when you're in, like, the rechase cycle. But when they first appear, you'll hear their unique music. Also, you guys are about to meet, uh, my favorite. You guys are- not my favorite. <laughs> no, 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 I- I- I was not- I was on autopilot there. This is not my favorite specimen, but he's pretty cool. But you're about to meet, like, a, a favorite of mine. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking coming through the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this probably will be my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Generic lab assistant. Ooh. And there he is! I apologize to anyone who has any form of, like, fear of insects or- Oh my god, or arachnophobia, because this guy is weird looking. Oh, whoa, we got two donations. I'm gonna pause this because I'm being chased. Hi, Pastra. I found your content really inspiring, especially after realizing how many, uh... I can't read that word, but... I'm assuming it's how much we have in common. Thanks to you, I finally have the motivation to start making my own horror game. Thank- Oh, I'm glad- I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you so much for the donation. Spooky Mansion and Demon Pasta. That's me. Thank you for the donation. But, um, like, I friggin' love this thing, though. Like, the, the clicking noises it makes while chasing you, the, like, droning, like, mechanical-sounding ambience, the way it, like, comes out of the ceiling, and the inspiration from Resident Evil. Oh, man, this is, this is a really cool SCP. Well, he's desperately attempting to run away from a giant insect, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, reading the chat as, like, I'm looking behind me to make sure it's not killing me. No, this, this SC- I, I, I keep wanting to call them SCPs. This specimen is super cool, though. Um, it's kind of funny that SCP was being brought up earlier in the chat, actually, because, like, I don't know about you guys, but this game gives me, like, really strong SCP vibes, where you got, like, a bunch of these different, like, weird entities and creatures all living in, like, this one giant building together. I don't know, I, it always gave me the same vibe. The real monster is the chat distracting pastor. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically playing on hard mode trying to reach out with you guys while I'm running away. What is my favorite specimen? My favorite specimen is specimen 11. I think specimen 11 is super cool. Um, I love their chase music, their starting area, their design, pretty much everything about them. Specimen 11 is awesome. I literally cannot play Skyrim because of the spiders at the beginning. I, I get you, man. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. There's bots. Yeah, it, there's there's always going to be bots. Just hope that we can get, like, people... Like, the mods are on top of that, getting rid of them. 
What's my favorite chase theme? Oh man, um, uh, Specimen 8s, easily. Uh, Your Consenting Mind is such an amazing song. It's, um, genuinely, like, if y'all remember which, uh, if y'all remember Winfrey, that OC of mine, uh, he, I actually imagine, like, his theme song being that. I get a, I got a joke. What did George Washington get at McDonald's? Oh, I want to see this joke. The Quarter Pounder. Heh. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Can I have permission to draw your character? Absolutely, go for it. Thank you for the donation. And I'm getting a sip of water because my throat is dry today. Ah. Thank you, Tempo, for the $1 donation. That means a lot to me. What do you think of Specimen 7? Um, which one was Specimen 7? I only remember the numbers of the ones I really like. Uh, okay, yeah, chat, you're gonna have to remind me which one Specimen 7 is so I can answer that question. I have an idea for a horror game I'd call it J-Joy Shop of Nightmares, where you play as a children's game with J-Joy Rabbit and multiple endings. That sounds really cool. I love the name. And thank you again for the donation. You are donating so much money to me. And it- Oh, my- <laughs> That just scared me! Hello and thank you for making awesome content. Hello, thank you for donating. That means a lot to me. Uh... Oh, the, the cat! Right, 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 right! The giant living wall! Um, okay, that specimen has one of my absolute favorite, like, areas and, like, uh, like, lore behind them. I find them super, super cool. Um, that specimen actually killed me quite a bit the first time I encountered it, believe it or not, despite how slow it is, because I got lost. Oh, hello, note. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape, but really that's not true. This place was like my escape. Oh, geez, sorry. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. I'm, I'm glad you were able to think that, my man. Uh, wanted to say everyone starts somewhere and you showcase your inspiring work, passion, effort so far. Thank you for everything you've given. Thank you again for the $5 donation. That means a lot to me. Specimen 11 is what vegans think happened at McDonald's. Absolutely. If you haven't played it already, you have to play Darkwood. I have, and that game's terrifying. What's your opinion on arson? Uh, it's my favorite crime. Absolute favorite. Thank you for the donation. Fifteen dollars is quite a lot. That that means a lot to me. Only made to one fifty out of a thousand before dying. Bad at game. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, pastor. Backrooms opinion. Future video. Oh, backrooms are so cool. Like, the backrooms is such a genuinely creepy concept because like the idea that I could just like fall through the floor at any point and just be in this like never ending like series of rooms. Ugh. I'm currently drawing while watching your stream, listening to you gush about your favorite things oddly helps me focus. I'm glad uh, I'm able to help you focus. Thank you for that. I would worry about how much money I'm donating if I didn't if I didn't know I had over a thousand in YouTube revenue. Oh, well, that makes me feel a little bit less bad, but you, you, you don't have to spend so much on me, really. It's still appreciated, though. Thank you so much. The Backrooms 1998 is pretty good as much as I've played a bit. I've been recommended it before. Uh, it sounds pretty cool. I'll have to check it out sometime. You have over 48 hours of gameplay, I think. Damn, I've got, I've got like 28 currently on my uh, account. I played through the game a couple times, played through Endless Mode. Uh, it was pretty fun. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much for the $3. That means a lot to me. Caught my first stream. Glad you were able to. The arson criminal here, officer. No, 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 no. Don't tell him that, guys. Don't tell him that. Yo, Pastor's a VTuber now. I always was. Oh, we're being chased by Bug Boy. Oh! Alright, right away. Um, This is one of my favorite areas. You guys are going to hear me say that a lot, by the way. Oh. Do you know what an oxalotl is? And if so, have you uh, thought about making any oxalotl-related monsters? Can't say I ever thought about making a monster, but those things are adorable. I love them so much. Yeah, we are in the school now of a uh, of specimen four, specimen four Ringo, or Ringo, Ringo, no Ringu. There we go, Ringu girl. Um, she's a pretty spooky ghost. If if any of y'all have seen The Ring, that's actually a really really good movie. I think there was a it was based on a book, I believe. I've seen I've seen the Japanese movie and the um and like the American version. Those movies are both great. Oh, right, there's ghost people here that can hurt me. I completely forgot about that. You're a successful streamer. I guess I am. 
Not gonna lie, I never expected to be, because, like, without a script, I'm normally, like, a stuttering mess. Matsuri never came to class today. I hope she made it home okay. Yeah, this specimen's lore is, like, weird. I'm- I'm pretty sure this is, like- I'm pretty sure she's, like, a ghost that just, like, eats, like, children or whatever who go to, like, the school. Have you or Lankman ever played Elden Ring? Um, no. Not yet. However, I've played every single Dark Souls game, and I've played Bloodborne to an extent, and they're all phenomenal games. Could it really be true? I thought the fairy tales about the ghost that eats children who sneak in after class was just to keep us from disobeying, but Matsuri- uh, Matsuri's still missing. That's such a creepy thing to, like, think about, especially with the way she, like, comes after you whenever I eventually encounter her. Wherever she is. Oh, hey, I don't- I don't remember this part. Was this game updated recently at all? I don't remember this hallway existing. Oh, hello! Oh my god! Okay, first of all, watch past- watch past her is gonna get back rooms midstream, y'all jinxed it. <laughs> I hope not, thank you. And Jaden spends music with the $69! I saw Theft stream and gave him this during a donation battle. Now it's your turn to get the same amount. Thank you so much! What's your opinion on the game Dusk? It's awesome. I love that game. I love that game so much. It's so much fun. Thank you for the $10. But I don't remember these hallways, guys. I Like I I thought I thought these hallways never existed. I thought it was just like the area with all the different classrooms. Oh, yeah, I got the funny creepy YouTube man playing the creepy funny spooky game. Yeah. Yeah, you did. $10. Thank you so much. The seventh gives me corpse party vibes. Yeah, me too actually. Very similar vibes now that you mention it. I I am so confused about what oh I am so confused about what's going on. I'm not used to this. What's your opinion on the EXE games? They're okay. I'm I'm not too big on them personally, but like if you enjoy them, I'll power to you. Pepsi Man Oh, okay, there she is! There she is! Hi! Pepsi Man, thank you for the two dollars. The, man, this one's really creepy, though. The chase music that plays while she comes after you is super cool. I love, like, the TV static effect. And, yeah, if you if you couldn't tell already, she's inspired by the ring. Hey, I'm a little late, but nice stream. By the way, it's nice to see Clyde moving now. Yeah, thank you. I, uh, got the, uh, what's it called, like, veto tube for it? Hey, Pastor, it's cool to see you with a verified mark. No, I've been seeing you since you had three videos. Wow, you've been here early. Thank you. Um, what's your favorite type of pizza? Uh, gluten-free, gluten-free chicken pizza is really good. Uh, fun fact, I'm making a multiplayer backrooms game. I'm also glad Lankman is doing something productive. Um, that sounds awesome. A multiplayer backrooms game sounds really cool. Thank you to everyone who just donated. Um, yeah, this specimen's pretty awesome. What's your favorite monster in this game? Cardboard cutouts, good choice. Um, specimen 11 is my absolute favorite, the food demon. I finished my fan- my fan video of you. Oh, you were making a fan video. Hell yeah. I- I- I'd love to see it. Clyde VTuber model when? Oh, I don't know. Right after dealing with Ghost Girl. We got Clicky back. Do you speak, uh, any Spanish? English is my only language. I tried learning French. I was bad at it. Four questions. Have you considered trying out a new ARG now that you have a different channel? Now you have a different channel. Is Linkman a gamer? Uh, I was only able to see before before the chat over uh, flowed your questions. Um, I do 100% intend to make another ARG in the future. I have a lot of fun with it. We're gonna be making some more. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on some uh, analysis-based content for now, but I definitely plan on working on some kind of ARG or like video project soon. I'm just kind of worried about how it's honestly gonna do if I do. I'm just hoping it goes well. Oh, hey, well, I'm gonna pause the read. This is a big message. I'm glad to see such a passionate and animated creator being getting traction on the platform. Your content is incredibly accessible and you do such a great job with the analysis. Looking forward to seeing more from you. Thank you so much for the $20. Drinking drinking game, take a shot whenever Pastor praises something. <laughs> Only joke, go thank you for that. You, you'd be dead from alcohol poisoning if you did that though. Have you seen the Wombo interview with Akuma Kira? I did, I actually watched all of, um, Wamu's stuff on Spookies. I love Wamu as a creator, and the stuff he did on that game was, like, really, really cool. You deserve every donation on- <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. How's this game work? I've never seen it. So, basically, there's a thousand rooms to this massive mansion, 
And the whole idea is that we are trying to get through all 1,000 while avoiding like the many monsters and their different mechanics. This game was fun to play. It's fun seeing you play. It was first stream with you, by the way. Well, thank you so much for the $20, $25, and I'm hoping it's going to be a good one for you. Um, I'm trying to remember, like, I gotta, I'm trying to remember to, like, be changing class expressions every now and then, but, uh, I, I'm, I'm, like, trying to, like, focus on the chat and the game, so you guys are gonna be stuck here with, uh, default, like, just chillin' Clyde for a bit. Oh, hello, no. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two, but these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Oh, oh, we got some more donations, I'm gonna read those real quick. Message from Sans, the game is quite sus- this is a specimen's full. <laughs> also, I made a video with J. Joy Rabbit talking to life and wanted to be sent to you. Yeah, go for it. That bug monster is gonna give me nightmares. Love you, Pastra. Oh, thank you so much. Please stay away from the paper man, I beg of you. Oh, any YouTube advice? Want to throw my hat in the ring, but fairly little direction with ideas to get started. Uh, I'll be sure to tell you my advice in just a second because we just got a $50 donation. Hello, Pastra. You're a huge inspiration for me. I've been wanting to start an ARG for my characters and world, and seeing your creations in ARG has boosted my confidence a lot. Unfortunately, I'm still not to the point where I can start yet, but soon. Well, I wish you the best luck for that, and thank you for the donation, genuinely. Now, my advice for starting out on YouTube, um, a couple things I'll let you know right off the bat. Um, first of all, when you're starting out on YouTube, do not start out thinking that you're going to like get a crap ton of views or thinking that it's going to be like a job if you if you start off on youtube making your videos treating it like it's going to be like your job and taking it super super seriously and like you know um like expecting to get a bunch of views um i genuinely think that you're going to be putting in more work than you're going to get back for it um what i recommend doing is like take your time with it and just make videos that are extremely fun and are a subject you're passionate about because like from my experience if you are passionate enough about something people will listen to you talk about it people will want to see you play it or watch it or whatever it is if you have enough passion for something people will want to listen to you for it and like you know right and like of course you're not going to, uh, you're not going to get a crap ton of, like, views right off the bat. I certainly didn't. I've been, I was actually trying to do YouTube stuff for eight years, and this was the first time I ever succeeded at it. But, like, the thing was, like, I think the thing was I just had fun doing it the whole time, and I never got really discouraged by it. Because, of course, I acted like I was with the whole ARG stuff, but that was me just kind of playing up what happened. Also, I got some donations here. I'm gonna check here real quick. Um... Have you heard about the quarry? I did hear about it. It looks really cool. Haven't seen anything from it yet. Hello, Pastrami. You're honestly the best horror YouTuber and the best content uh, with the best content to me. I'll continue supporting you. Thank you so much. So obviously you're a fan of Yume Nikki, but have you played any other RPG maker horror games like Hello Charlotte, Hello Charlotte the Crooked Man and Angels of Death? I honestly really love RPG maker games. I really, really do. Um. My favorite ones I've played, um, I've played Stray Cat Crossing. That game was amazing, highly recommend it. I've played, um, Ebe. That game had some of my favorite characters and, like, one of my favorite settings for a horror game ever. Highly re I recommend that one. Uh, trying to remember other ones I played. I played, um, I think it's called, like, The Witch's House. Also, if any of you in the chat here are Silent Hill fans, this is, like, a very heavily Silent Hill-inspired area. The darkness is slowly consuming us now. I don't think our rituals will appease it much longer. How are we supposed to know this would happen? Yeah, so any of you Silent Hill fans here in the chat, um, this is like very heavily Silent Hill inspired, this next specimen. Have you played slash heard of Omori? I've heard of it, I own it, haven't played it or seen anything from it. It's not really our fault. We just did what mother, what mother has told us to do in this sort of situation. Ooh, spooky. This is the Silent Hill area. Yeah, yeah, I, I really like this one too. Then again, I kind of like everywhere in this game, because I really love this game, so. Mother is not pleased with us, but how are we supposed to know that the girl wasn't pure? And like, getting into areas like this one is kind of like proving my point about what I was saying earlier with like how much, like what makes me love this game. This game has, like, it just, it feels like one massive collection 
of every single piece of like horror and other media that I love. It's got references to creepypastas, movies, games, like it has a little bit of everything I love from the horror genre and it just feels like a little like trip through memory lane for me every time I play it. You perfectly described my three year journey of YouTube when I learned from it, but instead of ARGs it was with plushies. Yeah, like yeah, I, I feel like I feel like a lot of people have like similar experiences when pursuing certain things like this. Like, and also thank you again for the donation, but like, yeah, I feel like you gotta you gotta treat YouTube like it's something you're genuinely having fun doing. And also, um, another thing I'll say right away, know your limits when you're making YouTube stuff. Um, if you if you're you're going to be largely successful if you can make something that works within the limits you have and you don't try to push yourself too far. Also, oh my god, we got an $85 donation. I'm gonna read this. Um, we're gonna see uh, Hoenn Suni. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. If you were to choose another good horror game to go in depth, what would it be? That'd be if you make another character for the channel. Who? Um, I'll answer that in just a second. Take money, purchase Elden Ring. Speaking of which, if his nudeliness ended up doing a video on Soulsborne game, what do we want to talk about? I would totally talk about like the horror of Bloodborne or something like Dark Souls 3. Once again, here to tell you that we're all here to watch you and we love your content for you. <laughs> keep, keep being amazing. Thank you so much. And I look forward to having you in the Discord when I make that public again. But uh, if I were to choose another horror game to go in depth on, uh, oh, I forgot about the, I forgot I was being chased. Um, Another horror game I really, really like. Um, that's kind of hard. Cause like, I feel like I've talked about a lot of the horror games I really like. Like I love the stuff Zeekers has to make. Um, I, okay, you know what another, uh, a horror game I really, really love um, is, I think it's called Fears to Fathom. I think that was the name of the game. Maybe it's it's the one where it's like based on true stories. Like there's the ho there's the uh, hijacker one. There's like the house invasion one. That one's creepy as hell. I love that game. Um, I'd probably go into depth on that one a little bit. Um, oh, um, Resident Evil is a huge one. I'd love to talk about someday because the Resident Evil games have been like one of my favorite game series for years now. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of Resident Evil 7. One of my favorite horror experiences ever. Um, I love the whole, like, like, I don't know what it is, guys, but, like, I have this, like, really strong love for, like, the sort of, like, rustic, like, southern sort of, like, hillbilly thematic for horror. Like, stuff like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Resident Evil 7 with, like, the Baker family, stuff like that. For some reason, like, that is just one of my favorite, like, um, I don't know what you call it, like, subgenres, thematics, we'll go with thematic, it's like one of my absolute favorite thematics for horror. Like, I'm obsessed with stuff like scarecrows and hillbillies and whatnot being used in, like, a horror setting. It's, it's awesome. Um, let's see, Lady Dimmy, <laughs> uh, surprisingly, uh, no, but... She's actually a really, really cool character. I haven't actually played RE8 yet because I was saving it for some kind of stream or whatever in the future. So that would be a pretty fun thing. Uh, what site do you want me to send you my fan episode? Um, well, oh, ooh, ooh, hi. I lost track of where I was reading chat. Um, I usually just receive stuff on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, so if you want to send it to, that to me there, yeah, definitely. What the hell is Clyde? Uh, Clyde is a fictional race of monsters I made up called the Veldigan. I have a lot of them. It's so fitting for Pastor to be playing this. Yeah, it. I feel like it inspired a lot of my style. Howdy, Pastor. Have you ever heard of slash played uh, Anatomy by Kitty Horror Show? It's my favorite horror game, no contest. I've never heard of that, actually. It sounds pretty cool, though. Thank you for the donation. I'll have to add that to the list of things to check out. Do you know The Binding of Isaac? Um... I have I have a friend who's really into that game. I've never played it myself, but it looks really good. Did you ever listen to Mr. Nightmare Scary Stories? Oh my god, the nostalgia I just felt when you said that. Yes, I used to listen to Mr. Nightmare all the time while I was working on artwork and whatnot. His stuff's great. Have you ever played, heard of, or played Zardy's Maze? I've heard the name. That's the extent of my knowledge of it, though. 
In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions have somehow. That's kind of something else I really like about this game is like... It's got like a sense of humor while also having genuine like horror in it. Oh great, we got this puzzle. Okay, this puzzle's weird. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it, I've got to go through the doors that ding four times until I, uh, until I can, like, remember the pattern. Alright, have I heard of- or played Zardy's Maze? Yeah. Yeah, I have, um, I have heard of it, never played it. Looks- it sounds pretty interesting, though. You should do a collab with Wamu. Well, if the opportunity ever arises, I wouldn't say no. Wamu's a really, really cool content creator. Oh, there we go. We're out. We're out. Right, right, left, something else. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad I was able to figure that out. Made outfit at 500k. No! No! I refuse. Although I have gotten that as fan art. Thanks, Socks. Thank you, Spooky. All right, let's check these donations. Hey, Pastor, huge fan. Will we ever get a video on RPG horror or just on individual games? Oh, absolutely. Yes, 100% I will in the future. And nice demon, thank you for the $10. Oh, and speaking of $10, good choices on backwater type, uh, type sort of horror. Makes for some really good Southern horror tales. Last donation from me here. If you ever need a voice for characters, let me know. Have a good night. Thank you so much for all the donations. And I'm glad you agree with my opinion on like Outback sort of like rustic themed horror. It's, uh, it's my favorite thematic for horror, I think. That and like carnivals are like my two absolute favorites. Um, I hope you guys are ready for something really scary. Um... Hold on, hold, hold, hold on to yourselves here, guys. Um, I don't want to be responsible for any, like, cardiac arrests, any trauma that comes from the moment that's about to happen here. You've been warned. Uh, to anyone who just died from that, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm gonna read these donations now. Um... I hope you're not gone. So I got this hatchet stuck in the side of my head. Do you have any advice for me to remove it without bleeding out? Uh, I'd say let a doctor do it. Hey, I highly recommend Darkwood. It's a top-down horror game. I've played it. It's genuinely terrifying. And yeah, like that. Oh, wow. hundred dollars. Oh, my God. Hey, Pastor, I came across you not too long ago, but I really enjoyed your content. Hope to see more great content. I also just recently person purchased Resident Evil 1 to 6, and I'm going to work on 100%ing all of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. That, that's so nice. I'm so glad to hear you're enjoying those games or you're going to be playing through them. Hey, Pastor, I love your vids and such, and I really love what you do. I started a new channel where I just want to do... What I love and play games. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. You definitely just do what you love as a video, like as content. It'll it'll get you far, I I believe. Thoughts on Everyman Hybrid? Probably one of the coolest, like um, I don't know what you call it, like I don't know if it's like an ARG, but like one of those like found footage type web series. It's really cool. It's not my mission mission to draw Clyde in a maid dress. <laughs> I wouldn't stop you. After the plush guy, I never got so many people. I never got why so many people simp over Roxanne. I would understand if people simped over Vanny, but not Roxy. It's because Roxy's hot, dude. Thank you for the donation, though. Uh, I'm going to continue as if I didn't just say that. Um, but, yeah, like... My god, the $100 donation, that's insane. You guys you guys are way, way too nice to me. Um, yeah, here it comes, here it comes, here comes the... Here it comes... Here it comes, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, stop! Stop, Stop, guys! This is giving me flashbacks to Bendy's, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Leave me alone. Please, leave me alone, guys. I know I put myself through this. I know I set this up for myself, but I did. You don't have to take it, please. Stop! I know I did this to myself. 
<laughs> oh, we got a donation. I really appreciate you introducing me to the upturn. I really enjoyed it. It's weirdly reminded me of Luigi's Mansion 3. It kind of reminded me of that, too. Yeah. Thank you for the donation, though. Yo, Pastra, play some Roblox horror games. Maybe. Maybe I will. Guys, guys, please. Guys, please stop calling me a sin. I don't want this to be a regular thing on my streams, guys. I don't want this to be the thing that my streams are known for, is that I sim for every character. That leaves a- like, people aren't gonna- like, people are gonna lose respect for me, man. Guy, come on, guys. But why? Why would people simp over an animatronic? What's so hot about her? Well... Have you looked at her? Have you- have you looked? Cause I- I feel like you haven't. Simping for a fictional wolf pathetic. I'm sorry! $50, oh my god. Hey, Pastor, love your content. Do you watch any darker-themed YouTubers like that creepy reading and scare theater? I watch them both. And another $50. I can't hear you. P.S. Love your stuff. You would have given me a passion for art with your mascots. Hope you draw them all. Oh my... Guys. I am literally sitting here, running around aimlessly in this horror game. Like... Talking about how these fictional horror game characters are hot, and y'all are like, yeah, yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy I'm throwing all my money at. Like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I guess that's all I could really say. To be fair, you aren't wrong about rocks. Thank you, Gaming Age. Thank you. This is why I'm subscribed to you. This is why I'm subscribed to you. Everyone check out Gaming Age. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> exactly. Pastor securing the bag. This is content! <laughs> I'm sure. I believe you. I have looked at her and seen nothing satisfying about her. Maybe look again. Check again. I think if you look again, you'll understand. Simp stantic ethic? <laughs> Are you religious? I, I wouldn't change my thoughts about Roxy. Did you know that if you stay paused for a while, a face kills you? I did hear about that. That's like, that's a weird, like, red specimen dude you fight at the end of the game, yeah. Also, thank you for the five dollars, that means a lot. Pastrax, Roxanne, X cartographer. Oh god, we're, get, we're already getting Love Triangle started and we're, like, a little over an hour in, guys. Not a good sign for the stream's health. Thoughts on Marble Hornets. Marble Hornets was actually the thing that got me into, like, web series and making, um, horror ARGs. My first ARG I ever tried making, which was My Happy Place, was actually made shortly after seeing Marble Hornets for the first time. Um, Deep Inhale. But Walton Files, though. I love the Walton Files so much. Nope, I can't because I'm asexual. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough then. You win. <laughs> uh, funny JoJo reference. Laugh now. Five dollars. Thank you so much. Yeah, the Marble Hornets super cool um it's what got me into like the sort of creepypasta community it's what got me into like args and web series um like it's it's it, it's a really good series besides you simping for rocks you have you heard about the wrong turn movies i have i've watched um i've watched dead meets kill counts on those absolutely adore that channel will you play the man from the window never heard of that thank you for the donation though that means a lot to me for being chased by Ringo, girl. Already loved you and your content, but knowing you simp for characters I do makes everything even better. Yeah, we simps. We gotta stand together, okay? We gotta appreciate this. We gotta appreciate the same people. I'm glad there's another Roxy enjoyer in the chat. Father, please come home. We miss you so much. Uh, that sounds like a you problem, but thank you so much for the donation. I like Mandela Catalog. Oh, uh, dude. Mandela Catalog? If I had to, like, pick my favorite, like, series, like, web series of all time, Mandela Catalog, Easy winner. Um, Mandela Catalog is like the first series I've seen in a while that genuinely makes me like paranoid and scared to do just like everyday tasks like just going upstairs. I'm always like checking behind the friggin' like shower curtains every time uh, every time I go in the washroom now because I'm scared of it. Also, I saw a $20 donation. Could you draw the other specimens in your style? I actually have before. Um, I've drawn three of them. I've drawn specimen eight two, and three in my art style before. Thank you so much for the donation. That means a lot. Yeah, though, Mandela Catalog's genuinely terrifying. If if none of you guys have watched it, please do, because, like, it's amazing, and Alex Kester deserves the support. Oh, dang, Simp, you got squirrels in your pants? What? Thank you for the donation, but what? <laughs> Alright. 
twins in Mandela catalog be like, hey, we're triplets. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I'm asexual, but Roxy is the one and only exception. Yeah. See, see, that's just, that's just proof of how top tier Roxy is. I'm just saying. Hi. He's kind of slow, though. Specimen 2 is a little bit slow. I feel, like, I feel like the main thing that makes this guy, like, scary to deal with is whenever you're in endless mode. He's slowing you down while you're being chased by scarier threats. Oh, wow, that's a lot of donations at once. Whoa, guys, okay, let me, let me read this. Simp, lol, now you're good, man. Keep up the sick content. Thank you. I feel justified now. Have you heard of Hylix? It's not a horror game, but it's really cool-looking claymation style. Ooh, I'll well, have to check it out. I love claymation. Love your art. It inspires me as a tattoo artist. I'm really glad to hear that. When you play Mr. Hop's Playhouse one day, make sure to type 1987 in the safe. You'll have a good time of nostalgia. Oh boy, I can't wait. I actually, no, sorry. I actually was planning on checking that out soon, so I'll be sure to. Pronouns? Also, I'm aromantic, so the animatronics aren't particularly simpable to me. Since they're not hot, since they're not hot either. I get that. Yeah, fair enough. Also, pronouns are he, they. Uh, if that's ever of concern to know. Uh, thank you everyone for the donations so far. Like, these- they, they come in such quick bursts. Oh, hello! Hello again, Pastor. Great seeing you stream again. I just wanted to ask if you have seen or played Iron Lung or Liquidators. I have played both. Uh, Iron Lung's a pretty good game. It's nothing I'm ever gonna make a video on just because I genuinely feel like there's nothing I could really add on to it as a discussion piece. I'm starting my ARG like you, but editing is hard. I- I know. It took me eight years to get decent at editing. And even then, like, I'm still learning a ton. I only recently learned how to uh, do green screen stuff. I'm Ace and Arrow. Oh, yeah, good to know. Uh, thank you for the donation. <laughs> Listen, Roxy, okay, but Toy Cheek, on the other hand, I would simp for her any day. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to see that my chat for my Spookies stream has just been discussing, like, me, me being a simp and top tier FNAF waifus, and that's the entire conversation topic. On a scale of one to pepperoni, how hot is Roxanne Wolf? Uh, pepperoni. Thank you for the ten dollar donation, by the way. I, I feel like I've doomed this entire stream to just be about Roxy for the entire thing now. Um, so I apologize to anyone who's here and has to deal with that, or anyone who's coming in. And we're at room three hundred. We're making quick progress here. How did we get to this? It always gets to this. Pastor Sim 65% of his chat. Oh boy, bad decision, Pastor. You're right. Another question though. I'm a huge Oh well, I'm a huge plushy sus display collector. Would you consider releasing either? Absolutely. Um I would love more than anything to release a Clyde plushie. I was thinking about like trying to get something going with makeship sometime in the future. I'm just I'm just concerned that I won't reach, like, the goal for it, as I currently am. Um, I also saw another donation here. I find Roxy and Chica shippings to be a cute ship. Yeah. I don't, I'm kind of just neutral about it. What's your opinion on Sun and Moon? Sun and- like, if you're talking about the animatronics, those two are so cool. Like, one of the- one of the genuinely most, like, creative animatronics we ever got. Um, what's under there? I'm not saying it! I know what you're trying, and I'm not saying it. Thank you for the donation, but you're not tricking me. I'm bi gender and bisexual. Kind of funny. Good for you. Uh, thank you for the donation. Mangle, though. Uh, no, dude. Hi, Pastor. Stream is good again. Can't stay, but you did get a chance to look at the searcher boss for Benny and the Ink Machine. You need... You need to do it for Trapdoor Secret. Um, I was planning on playing through Benny again on my own time to find some, like, secret bosses and whatnot. How many pastors do you think it would take to defeat all the experiments in a team v team all out fight? Oh, only one. I'm just awesome. Thank you for the ten dollar donation. Now they destroy me. I'm I'm a twig in real life. I, I weigh nothing. I would die. Uh, would you color the haunted PS1 demo disc? That looks amazing. That genuinely looks so cool. I'd love to cover it sometime. Okay, less ironic and not Roxy related. How? The f do you manage to mot do you maintain your motivation to draw long enough to make assets for videos? My motivation dies fast. Um, it's just drawing. Uh, like I got, I know it doesn't sound too helpful. It's just drawing a lot. Um, and I'll go more into that in a second because I want to read these donations here. Um, 
Uh, opinions on long Furbies. Love them. I want one really bad. Any chance we'll see VR content? Maybe. It's kind of hard to set up. Please say, please, no. Say, underwear funny YouTuber. Oh, well, I just said it. The daycare attendant is without a doubt the scariest character and part of security for each. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, like, to answer the question about making, like, art assets for my videos, um, I started off not being able to make very many of them. But, like, it was kind of funny. Whenever the channel first started gaining traction, my motivation to make art, like, just explode because I was like, oh my god, people actually want to watch me. So I just started drawing like crazy. And funnily enough, that like big burst of motivation made it so that like I had really, really long art sessions. And through that, I kind of built up more and more stamina. So like what I recommend is just like drawing a lot until like you really don't want to anymore. And I feel like slowly you'll build up enough like endurance and like stamina to be able to make a lot more art. Maybe that's not, maybe that's bad advice, but it's what worked for me. This game is very much like Silent Hill. Have you played any of the Silent Hill games? I've never played a Silent Hill game, not gonna lie, but I've watched, um, the first two. Uh, and that was easy. Also, yeah, um, we're at one of my absolute favorite specimens in the game. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, some of the townsfolk took all his puppets and threw them in the river. Have you ever played Bloodborne? Opinions on Bloodstar of Beast. Bloodborne is a absolute masterpiece, um, and Bloodstar of Beast was a really fun boss. I actually got to fight that one in the short time I played it. Uh, note? That? Oh, uh, there we go. But just afterwards, he came running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and, and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Love seeing I'm not the only arrow ace person who likes spooky spaghetti friend. Love your work, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying what I'm doing, and I love and I love seeing the donations. Thank you so much. Now I feel like drawing Clyde and Lankman in the body of J. Joy Rabbit. Do whatever you want, fan art's always appreciated. Thank you for all the constant donations, it's insane. I'll see, I find the story of this particular specimen like really friggin' creepy. Like the music that plays here, um, the story of like this dude drowning in the river trying to save his dolls, and of course like the very clear like Ben Drowned inspiration, it's super cool. This is where I just was. Also, Pastor, you say you're you're scared that Clyde Plushie won't get funding when you've been we've been giving you one hundred dollars stream domain. Okay, you know what? You know what? You're totally right. I. You know what? Yeah, actually, I I really never thought about it like that. Um. No, yeah, that kind of gives me a whole different perspective. <laughs> you watch horror movies? If so, your favorite one. Um. Not gonna lie, I'm an even bigger horror movie guy than I am a horror game guy. Like, if you get me, like, to list off horror games I really like, I can give you a pretty decent list. But horror movies, I've seen so many. Um, and my favorites, I have a lot of favorites. My absolute favorite movie of all time is Killer Clowns from Outer Space because I'm just a huge sucker for, like, B-movies and, like, really over-the-top, like, special effects. But, like, um, uh, my, like, if I were to give you, like, my five favorites, like... Probably my my five favorite like film series be like Friday the Thirteenth, Hellraiser, Evil Dead, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, I'm a huge fan of Alien, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All of those ones are amazing movies. Oh, I just remembered my other question. Thoughts on the Project Moonverse games? Um, haven't played any of them, but I've heard some really good things. I've heard some really really good things from people uh, from people I talk to regularly. You need at least 25k followers to make a makeshift campaign. You're more than qualified. You're- you guys are probably right. Like, I feel like- Like, I feel like you're probably right. If I made a campaign, um, it may succeed. I just got, like- There's always just that little thought at the back of my head where I'm like, people aren't gonna buy it. Even if they- even if they would. You know- you know what I mean? Like, I- Seeing how much you guys are donating to me, I'm realizing that's kind of unrealistic now to think. But, like, it's just that thought where I'm like, eh, maybe people won't. Also, I think I can get out of here now. Yeah, there we go. 
This guy, this guy creeps the hell out of me though. This, this particular specimen, like, he was the, ooh, he was one of the first ones to actually like kill me. Um, Freddy Krueger versus Jason. Who wins? Jason, absolutely. I, I love Killer Clowns. I'm glad to hear that. It's an amazing movie. I love it so much. Yeah, this this specimen's one of the creepiest to me. Oh. Oh, I got another donation. Found you through autoplay while I was sleeping. Best wake-up call I ever had. It was uh, with your playthrough of It Steals. Well, that feels like, it feels very uh, lucky that you were able to find me from just autoplay going. Oh man, I love the soundtrack in this particular part. Like, I just love how reminiscent this guy is of Ben Drown. Ben Drown was like, one of my first experiences with horror as a kid. I was creeped out so much by the story. So like, having this specimen that's so reminiscent of him while also being his own unique entity is super cool. Also, his mechanic is really interesting too. Gotta keep my eyes on him. If I remember correctly, this is how he's supposed to work. Thoughts on Jevil? Oh man, Jevil's. Jevil is one of my favorite characters in Deltarune. I loved his boss fight a ton, and I mean, I liked him enough to make his laugh what I used for Clyde in my YouTube intro. Last question for a while. Have you played any visual novels? What's your favorite one in the horror genre? Um. I mean, I was gonna say if you consider it a visual novel, but I, it pretty clearly is. I really loved Doki Doki Literature Club. That game genuinely caught me so off guard, and it's such like a well-made like experience, and I'm just a sucker for like meta horror and that kind of stuff. Hey Pastor, did you watch Coughing Joe? It's a Brazilian horror movie. No, never heard of it, but I'm always open to good horror movie recommendations. When I was a kid, Ben Drown creeped me out so bad, I thought I saw him popping out in other games I'd play at the time. It was terrifying. I loved it. I, I had a very similar experience. I was super paranoid about like seeing Ben Drown or like hearing the music, and it genuinely kept me up at night as a kid. I don't know how I enjoyed this genre, considering how much trauma I have related to it. Oh, ben Drown's super cool. Also, his chase is over. Oh, never mind! I remember watching your vid on FNAF 3 and agreeing with all your points. Se several months later, I was so surprised to see more content. Yeah, I like... Whenever I posted that original FNAF 3 video, also hit me up too if you need extra voice work. <laughs> I'll be sure to. Uh, thank you for the donation. But like... I remember... Um... Like... What was I even saying? Wait, let me, let me scroll up. I need to get my train- Oh yeah, the FNAF 3 video. Um... I remember, like, whenever I uploaded the FNAF 3 video, um, it was, like, to anyone who was, like, part of the ARG, they'll remember that I said that I uploaded the FNAF 3 video because I was going to make the ARG, but then I decided it was, like, too much effort for what it was worth, which is actually true. A lot of the ARG storyline was actually, like, based on how, like, my life actually was as a content creator. It's just I made it a lot sadder than it actually was because I wasn't, like, super depressed over it or anything. Um, but like, the FNAF 3 video, I remember I put a crap ton of work into it and just had a lot of fun making it, because I felt like I had such like a strong opinion on that game at the time, that I just really wanted to like, just put it out there, and um, I remember that video for a whole year, nobody watched it, it got like no views, no attention, and at the time, I was just, like, super discouraged by that, so you can imagine my surprise when Security Breach came back and I went and checked back up on the channel and suddenly it had, like, 10,000 views and I'm like, holy crap, that's the most views I've ever gotten ever. Well, gotta go be a human, thanks for the content, and thank you for the donation and for being here. No, oh, yeah, though, so, like, I feel like there was a lot of people who, like, a lot of the people who initially saw my video, the FNAF free one, were, like, they probably thought they were subscribing to a channel that was just dead and made the one video and then left off the face of the planet. But the second I saw like even a hundred subscribers, I'm like, oh, it's go time. Oh, it's go time. We are going to make as many videos as we can. We are going to just like, we are going to make the most of this. We are going to keep this momentum going. And 
here we are now. I'm gonna clip the I'm a twink in real life. <laughs> it's true. Thank you for the donation. What country do you live in? I'm Canadian. I live in the land where everything's frozen and we drink nothing but maple syrup. Do you have a deviant art and or and do you take commissions? I used to have a deviant art, but I primarily post my art on Twitter and Instagram now. Um and uh about commissions, I have considered several times opening up commissions. My main problem is just the fact that I never know how to price them. Like I feel like if I make the price too low, I it really sucks because I feel like I'm not getting like as much as like my art's worth. But when I charge too much, I feel even worse because then I feel like I'm scamming people in a weird way. So I always had a hard time with that. There's only one creepy pasture I was terrified of and it was the Amazing World of Gumball Story, The Grieving. I've never heard of that one. I feel like it'd be so hard to make the Amazing World of Gumball creepy though. That's such a funny show. Do you like creepy podcasts? If so, have you listened to Magus Archives? I love creepy podcasts. Um, I've never listened to that one though. I'll have to listen to it while working on some art sometime. Thank you for the donation. Canadian Spaghetti Demon. That's what I am. Yes. Have you ever been interested in RPG Maker Horror? Um, if so, I just finished playing Eve with my friends. I really, really love RPG Maker Horror, and Eve is probably my second favorite right next to Yume Nikki. Pastor's Canadian, I'm not obligated to simp. Oh, well. I'm glad to see that I met all your standards. Uh, thanks for the $5 donation. No, though, um, RPG Horror is one of my absolute favorite. I, um, I love Eve. I love Yume Nikki. Stray Cat Crossing is a favorite of mine. Um, The Witch's House was super cool. Oh, jeez. Sometimes the effects of this, like, monster actually mess me up really bad. Have you ever heard of Mobile Game Slash PP? Identity 5. That rings a bell. I don't know where I've heard that name, but I have. I'll have to look at it after the stream. Thank you for the donation, though. Uh, how cursed was your deviant art? I mean, I just posted art that I post on my Instagram and Twitter. Just like, you know, a lot of like really bad sketch art, a lot of uh a lot of pretty bad monster designs. It was just what I post now, but lower quality because I was just like a kid. I didn't post any of like the messed up stuff that DeviantArt's known for, don't worry. That's actually why I went off of it, because it was grossing me out. <laughs> not to shame anyone who uses DeviantArt or anything, but it was just not for me. Ever considered having a Discord server? I do have a Discord server. Um, it's currently private just because um, we were working on getting some more like moderators to make sure that when I made it public again, we could um, handle like the massive influx of people. It'll be open uh, public again soon though, so. If you're interested in joining, then that'll be there for you. Any thoughts on, any thoughts on playing Madfather? I've considered it. I'd love to play RPG Maker Horror Games for a stream at some point. I would I would to apologize for everyone who said sorry about the sleeping. <laughs> oh thank you for the thank you for the donation. Yeah, I finally made it. Spookies is so scary. Yeah, Spookies is awesome, man. I love this game. Have you ever seen Danganronpa series, uh, or the execution moments? I own Danganronpa, I've never played it. I always tried to play it, but I always seem to like procrastinate for some reason on it. I love the art style though. Canadians are better than Americans. A Brit. Oh, well, glad to see you've got a based opinion. Uh, that was a joke, guys. Anyone who here is from America, you're all awesome, I, pr I promise. RPG horror, ever play Al Oni? Super good and scary, never heard of it. But I'll take your word for it. I'll have to check it out. Getting a lot of really good, like, game and, uh, series recommendations here, guys. I'll have to check out all these. I love Witch's House. I just got it. Gonna make my friends cry over it next. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for the donation. It's a really good game. I'm I'm excited to hear your thoughts on it. As an American, that's correct. <laughs> okay, glad to see I've got, uh, some validation here coming from, uh, Beep Boop. Also, we're being chased by Ring Girl again. Have you ever played the Crooked Man? I watched Mark, I think it was Markiplier play that a while ago. That game is very interesting. I'm gonna head out, have a great day, Pastor, and remember, he's always watching. Oh yeah, I know Lankman's always watching. And thank you for being here, and thank you for the donation. I hope you have a good night, or a good day, or whatever it is. <laughs>
whatever is going on for you. Thoughts on Afton Built? Um, I think Afton Built is a really, really cool game. Um, with a lot of, like, you know, lost potential now that it's not gonna be finished. I'm honestly kind of disappointed that, um, the developers of that game didn't, like, try to make it a unique IP and potentially get it off the ground as its own, like, unique horror game. Because I feel like that game, I feel like that game had so much unique going for it that they could have just rebranded it to be something that wasn't FNAF related and they could have made it. But, you know, of course, I'm not one of the devs. I don't know what their whole development cycle's like. So... I guess that would be easy for me to say. I just wish we got some kind of finished form of it. Also, we got some donations up here. A super underrated creepypasta, I think, is from the original Pokemon Snap Mother's Cry. Never heard of it. Glad to see you streaming again. Glad to have you here. Thank you for the donation. That was huge. Seems like the chat wants to see Al Oni. Hello, Mayo. Yeah, well, if, if the chat really wants to see some RPG Maker horror games, I'd gladly play them. I love those games. Do you like FNAF VR? Uh, contrary to what my April Fool's video may make you believe, yes, I absolutely love it. It's a great game. My grandfather was Canadian, so that makes me 25% Canadian. That makes you 25% awesome. I'm just joking. You're you're just awesome. Like, these donations are, like, really appreciated, and <laughs> you're, you're very, very interactive with everyone here. I appreciate having you here. How many Lankmans would it take to beat the entire FNAF cast? Um... No matter how many Lankmans are there, they will always lose. Lankman is a weak, frail old man. Alright, so, with me reaching room 400, um, I'm actually going to just be back in a second. Just because I'm just going to go grab myself something to eat real quick, because I'm starting to get quite hungry. So, if y'all are willing to just wait for a little bit here, I'll be back. I'll try and be quick, I promise. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back here.
All right, all right, I'm back. Sorry for making everyone wait. Uh, I I started the stream. I started the stream thinking like, oh yeah, uh, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be too hungry. I'll, I'll I ate recently. I'll be fine. But uh, with the food I have to live off of, I get hungry really really quick. So I had to take a quick lunch break. <laughs> But we're here now, and I'm not taking any more breaks, so I'm just gonna be here for the whole time. Um, so yeah, we're almost halfway through all the rooms in the game so far. <laughs> the simp! The simp is back! Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone's just- Oh my god! He's back! He's got a full dummy and everything! Hi, Pass, just wanted to let you know- Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> hey, Pastor, just wanted to let you know that I'm enjoying the stream and wanted to ask if you should, uh, if you think I should start posting content. Absolutely. If if you have if you have the ability to and you want to, go for it. Triggerbot, hundred and fifty dollars. I have returned to get Pastor brain hemorrhages and also asked me if we'd ever play the Faith on stream. I would absolutely consider it. That is a, such an insane donation. Oh my god! Thank you so much. Fun fact, my great great your grand uncle wrote the Canadian National Anthem. Huh. Interesting. Don't know how true that is, but I'll take your word for it. Thank you for the five dollars. Wait, two seconds of no pasture. <laughs> what two seconds of no pasture does to a motherfucker? I get it, I get it. Thank you for the two dollars. Oh. Oh, we are about to enjoy one of my favorite parts of the entire game, which I think I've said like a total of like six times now, but we're here. Um, threshold of Consciousness. And right before I step over, we got another donation. Uh, there are some genuinely freaky moments from the Danganronpa series. Uh, Makoto's hallucination scene from the end of Hope's Peak anime run haunts me to this day. Oh my god, I didn't know. I'll have to check it out. Boo! Oh my guy! With a hundred dollars! Are you serious? Where are all you people coming from? Why are you throwing your college tuition at me? What? <laughs> How do you start an ARG? Clyde and Lankman fan it okay? Absolutely, first of all, go for it. And how do you start an ARG is a hard question because there's such a weird, like, thing to express. I say start them, like, the ones that I find the most interesting are the ones that have, like, nice, concise, short beginnings that sort of pique your interest, establish a mystery, but aren't too, like, cryptic right off the get-go. Could you raise Lankman's rent to however big that number is? I have no idea what that number is, but yes, he he needs to pay more. Um, review Omori where I feed you socks. Uh-oh. What did you think of the Luigi's Mansion games? The nostalgia I feel for Luigi's Mansion, you have no idea. Also, we are in this area, and here's the cute little cat. Yeah, this area, I think, is one of the coolest, because, like, it delves a lot into, like, the whole, like, surrealism idea. Like, with the giant clock and the cat and everything. It's super, super cool. Big fan of your content. As a fellow horror enjoyer, what would you say is the scariest horror game trope? Um, I was asked a similar question last stream, and I didn't really know how to answer. I think, like... I think probably the scariest horror game trope I've ever experienced is, like, when everything in the environment is sort of, like, building up towards a jump scare coming that is either, like, horribly delayed or never happens. So you're just kind of sitting there, like, scrunched up in, like, a little ball not knowing what to expect. This game kind of does a similar thing to that at some point. Yeah, this area is so cool. I love, like, the expansiveness of this, like, giant sort of central pit with this huge clock. And then weird, like, black bricks and, like, tile textures everywhere. And this weird room of just, like, bright colors and whatever these things are. Two sides of the same point. Knowing your projections can help you achieve things. Hey, Pastor, I love the stream. Do you have any pets? I have many. I have three cats and two dogs. And they are all lovely little animals. I don't know what this is. Like, this is probably the area that I find the most, like, weird and confusing. And I kind of love it for that. I heard Lankman leave the basement, guys. Yeah, Lankman's just checking the laundry. Ever heard of Yume 2? Yume... Yume 2? I don't know how to say that. No, I haven't.
Yeah, that, that area in particular is really, really interesting, and um, I think the specimen there is really cool, too, whenever we get to see him in action. Um, oh, but of course, first we have to do one of these puzzles again. Oh. Oh, are we gonna get first try? Oh, we actually got it first try. Look at me. I'm too good at this game, guys. I'm too good. Also, what happened to the weird surreal puzzle area? It just kind of vanished. Oh, and never mind, we're back. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this... I, I'm not sure what, oh, hello, I almost missed that donation. The scariest horror trope you mentioned sounds like anatomy, but I, I, I've heard about that. I, I, was, I was told about it earlier this stream, too. Also, the lesbians approve of your Roxy bitch. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. I won't lie, I would try and spook you with another big donation, but I personally shouldn't. Either way, keep it my favorite spooky man. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the donations. I'm still, I'm still processing the donation you gave me earlier. Like, I'm, I'm still having a hard time thinking that that just happened to me. But like, I think this area in particular is one of the most interesting because it's one of the ones that confuses me the most. I feel like there's a lot up to interpretation on like what it means and like, um, what the whole symbolism of it is. I'm not too sure what it means at all, actually, but I always really liked it. I love the design of the specimen whenever we actually attempt it. I quit college to give my tuition to you. Don't! Pursue your education, please! Think of yourself before you think of me! He's... Watch as he just dies a few moments later at that. I won't die. I'm, I'm, I'm too good at spookies to die. I love this room. It's super trippy. Everyone celebrating room 420. I think we're getting close to the actual specimen too. Knowing your shadow can break and help you, but be ready to see what you'd rather not be. Do you ever play games with fans? I haven't yet, but I've considered it before. Um there's a couple of multiplayer horror games I'm a pretty big fan of. Also, yeah, like this is this is a really cool room. The way it looks like you're just crawling through this like weird tunnel of meat with like the weird reverse music. That's one thing, that's one thing like I can't praise enough about Spookies is its soundtrack is one of my absolute favorites. Also, um, I think we are now being chased by the specimen, wherever it is. Where's the specimen? Oh, there's the specimen. It's just this weird like writhing wall of meat and faces. I don't remember what the inspiration for this one was, but I'm just gonna go off on a limb and say it's, uh, say it's freaking Gygus from Earthbound. Uh-oh. 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 I, I see the donation, I'll read it in a second, I promise. I'm just... Okay, okay, we'll go through this door. Okay, let's see this. So what are you feeding your Eldritch Horror roommate? Uh, I'm feeding him... He's gotta eat whatever I eat. He's gotta live off of gluten-free cereal and almond milk. And if he has a problem with that, then, well, he can go buy his own groceries. Do you like Gravity Falls? I, I love Gravity Falls. One of my favorite shows. Just wanted to say well done with your channel and videos, man. You just keep- you just came out of nowhere and just exploded in growth. Cool to see. I wish you well in the future. Well, thank you so much, Golden Diamond. That's so nice of you to say. I appreciate the donation so much. That genuinely means the world to me. All of these mean the world to me. Like, I'm just having fun playing this game here, but I'm honestly just, like, the, the most fun I have from these streams is just interacting with everyone in the chat here. Gaiga still horrifies me too, gaming age. I find, like, the music and, like, the whole story of him is just really disturbing. A bit sick right now, but I'm glad to see you stream again. Hopefully you can stream more games like this. I really hope I can. I, I have a lot of fun doing it. Also, it gives you guys- it gives you guys a lot of content to enjoy while I work away at the, uh, massive bendy video I'm making right now. I, uh, that was my main hope with starting up the streaming was that I knew that the bendy video was going to take, like, a really long time because it's- it's the biggest video I've ever made. 
So I'm glad that we're able to sit here and enjoy ourselves so I can give you guys something to watch while you wait for it. I imagine you guys are patient though, but like, I don't know. I just don't like making people wait. Can't wait for the next chapter of DVD with Lankman as the killer and Pastor Slash Clyde as a survivor. I would be, like that, that would be a dream come true. DVD is like one of my favorite games of all time. Um, Hell, I've considered doing some streams of it um, every now and then because I play it so much on my own personal time. I figure, well, I mean, hey, it's it's a game I really like, so why not just play it like I always do on a stream, right? The only reason I haven't really is there's other games like this one and Bendy. I want to stream more and also um, I want to try and get less uh, rusty at Killer before I start streaming it because I want I want you guys to. Uh, be able to watch some like high quality gameplay and I don't currently provide that with uh, Dead by Daylight as I am. Uh, let's see. Last question with my life savings. I don't need to eat anything but souls. Good to, know, good to hear. Have you ever heard of Magecko Castle? It's a really cursed RPG horror game. I saw that one. I wasn't a fan. I found the whole like, I found the whole thematic and story of it to be a little bit distasteful with how they sort of treat it with like the character and everything. I won't go into it, but like, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan. If you like that game, good for you, but I'm not too big on it. Your voice is so nice to listen to while I'm working on making lore for my OCs. Also, are you planning on doing a drawing stream? Absolutely, yes. Um, I would love to do some art streams in the future. I was thinking of doing an art stream where I was potentially drawing, um, drawing some of my characters and maybe I was going to be doing art suggestions where, you know, people could just ask me to draw stuff as I'm going and then if I like the idea, I'll go for it. I think that sounds really fun. I'd love to do that. It'd be really chill and relaxing. Uh, what do you use for drawing? Um, I use a, I think it's called the Wacom Cintiq or whatever. It's, it, it's one of the Wacom Wacom. I don't know how you say it, but it's, it's one of those drawing tablets. It's a really, really high quality one. I highly recommend it. Hey, Pastra, um, what horror game do you think is good for a scaredy cat? Okay, so like, are we talking about like a horror game that isn't too scary but is enjoyable? Or a horror game that's gonna scare the crap out of you? Because um, if you want a good horror game that's not too scary but still has the horror vibes, um, Bendy and the Ink Machine is my absolute favorite horror game ever made and I feel like it suits that. Um, this game is pretty good for that too. I don't feel like it's too scary, but it does the job it needs to. Um, maybe you could try out something like, uh, hmm, what are some of the good recommendations? I, 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 had a, I had a lot of fun playing Baldi's Basics for uh, how scuffed, like despite how scuffed it looks. I actually think that there was a lot done to that game to make it really fun. I was going to give a hundred times this amount, but it won't let me. Oh, well, I hope you thrive past your- Like, it's looking out for you! It doesn't want you to give all your life savings to me! Like, you are, you've already given me a hundred dollars! You don't even need to donate anymore! I appreciate what you've given on me already, but thank you for the five dollars! It really means a lot. Have you heard of Friday Night Funkin'? Oh, yeah. Who hasn't at this point? Like, Friday Night Funkin' is everywhere. It's a pretty cool game. Um, I don't play it too much, but I, I like the art style and the character designs a lot. All the mods are super cool too. Like the indie game crossover for it was really, really neat. I loved all the stuff for Bendy in it. Quack, thank you for the $5 donation. Hashtag ducky chat, let's go. Play Alien Isolation. I have played Alien Isolation. That game's horrifying. One of the most well-made like horror experiences I've ever played. I think the AI for the Xenomorph is extremely well-made too. Have I ever heard of the Metroidvania Ender Lies? No, I haven't, but it sounds cool. Yik, a postmodern RPG. If that's the name of a game, then I'll have to check that out. Thank you for the donation. Pastor, please, Yik. Okay, okay, I, I guess that is a game title that people like. I've never heard of it. I'll have to look it up sometime. So yeah, we're getting chased by her a lot. We get, we get her rechase phase a ton while we're playing through this. Oh god, not you. What the hell is this game? Is this something I should actually play or is this like a meme game? I can't tell because like I'm getting really mixed messages from my mods here. Yik hype, no not yik. Yik isn't a good game. Guys, I'm so confused. What the hell am I being recommended? Yikking out right now, no yik. Mac, pa what the hell is this game, guys? 
Pastor Yiki. What the hell does this mean? I'm so confused. Is this like, is this some like cursed game that nobody wants like me to look at? Or is this like one of those games where the only people who are recommending it to me like want to see me suffer or something? What the hell is this? Pastor kind of sounds like MatPat. I know. I've heard. I've been told a lot. Just don't? Yik is the video game version of Morbius? Okay, guys, I'm I'm pausing this game. I'm looking up what the hell this is. What is this game? Yik, a postmodern RPG? What is this game? Oh, that's not... The reviews are... Okay. Psychological horror turn, but... Okay? I mean, I guess you don't really get an idea of what it's all about when you look at the Steam page. I am so confused. John Yik. I'm so confused, guys. Hey, Pastor, love your content. Yik is... Y'all are not helping me out here. Also, thank you so much for the donations. That's not what I meant when I said that you weren't helping me out. Like, I, I'm so confused. What is this game? Why is my chat filled with people who are telling me to play this game and people who are telling me not to? Like, please, somebody explain. I don't understand. Also, hey, we get to look at uh, Cactos. Cactos? Cactos? I don't know. Have you ever heard of the game? Whatever that word is, no. Also, let's take a look at some of our favorite specimens. Um, I don't remember. Oh, I should. What? There we go. Um, let's take a look at some of the specimens here, guys. We got specimen one. Lovely little, lovely little cardboard cutouts. We've seen them. Pastor, you're going to set it up so the emotional incline will change automatically. I, I can't. It's not possible to do that. I have to, I have to press the buttons manually to make it do that. I don't think there is any application that can like detect the tone of my voice to do that. Unfortunately. Hi, Pastor. Your art and videos inspire a lot of my art. Thanks for being so cool. I gotta know, in terms- Oh, jeez, that message got flooded out. I gotta know, in terms of difficulty, which specimen gives you the most trouble? Um, easily- easily the one that gives me the most trouble is probably, um, Specimen 11, which is part of the reason I like him so much, because he's very challenging. Have you played Half-Life 2? No, but it looks amazing. Yick me, yick be yicking. I- Thank you for the donations, but I don't understand. <laughs> Specimen 2. Specimen, like I said, Specimen 2 has always been like one of my absolute favorites. I love him. I love his like just design. He's very, very simple, but he gets a lot done. Specimen 3 is pretty cool. I love the Resident Evil um, inspiration. Specimen 4, probably one of the creepiest ones. Oh, hey, Brian Koo, thank you for the $1. Um, specimen 5. Specimen 5 is pretty cool. They're not like they're one of my lesser favorites, not because they're bad, just because I love all the specimens quite a lot. Um, Specimen 6 is the one who probably creeps me out the most when it comes to, like, gameplay. He's very stressful. Um, Specimen 7's pretty cool. Although, I feel like, I feel like Specimen 7, like, um, I, I, I often forget about Specimen 7 just because of the fact that he, he's only there for, like, the one segment and he doesn't even get, like, a rechase phase. Um, I cannot wait to get to the Dear Lords area again. Specimen 8's awesome. And I forget which one's Specimen 9. Right! It's you. That one was always really interesting. Alright, let's actually continue the game here now. Have you heard of the puzzle platformer game Eversion? No, I have not. Oh my god, what have I caused? I don't know what you've caused. I don't understand. Uh-oh, bad decision. <laughs> don't, you, don't you remind me of those Mandela catalog moments, please. What are your thoughts on Omori? Never played it, so I don't have any thoughts on it yet. I forget when we get to see the Deer Lord, but I know that it, now that I know it's the next specimen we're encountering, I'm getting quite excited because the Deer the Deer Lord's like among like probably like my three favorites. I'm gonna try also not to die this playthrough just because of the fact that I want to uh, I want to I want to get the achievement for it. I have almost all the achievements in this game actually. I went achievement hunting a while ago. Have you played a a pyra a pyrophobia i don't know how to pronounce it but no i never have i've never even heard of it but it sounds pretty cool nothing is worth the risk no please please don't do this to me 
Yixim? What the hell is this game about, guys? Oh, hey, Spooky. Favorite character from Doki Doki Literature Club, Sayori. Sayori was always my favorite character in that game. I love her so much. Yik or Yik means Y2K, by the way. Y2, okay. Good to know, I guess. Man, I'd love to know more about it other than the title, but. Oh my, I looked up in the corner and I saw the room number change and I forgot about that and I was about to start panicking and I thought I lost my progress. Hey man, I agree so much. Gaming Age, you were just continuously being extraordinarily based today. Everyone subscribe to Gaming Age. Uh, well, there. No, please. Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Also, I found a strange computer that gave descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like they're all called effective based on how many people they kill. Bug snack stream, maybe? Psychological horror moment. Um, I've seen some stuff from Bub Bug Snacks. Um, not sure I believe you, but it looks like a pretty cool game. Thank you for the donation. And Brian Koo with the one dollar again. Thank you so much. So you're almost at room 558. That's when the deer- that's when you meet the deer lord. Cool. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I- I knew it was around where I was, but I wasn't sure. Because the deer lord area is one of the absolute coolest. And it's also where I get the axe, which, um, this playthrough I'm going to try and beat up as many of these guys with the axe as possible, because I know, I'm pretty sure you get a different ending for doing that, but I've never seen the other ending. So, I'm gonna have to see what happens, I'm very excited. Hello, thank you for the two dollars. Sims for Specimen 1 confirmed, also Bug Snacks is definitely psychological horror, trust me. Oh, I believe you, I believe you. Absolutely. This is just a repeat of Specimen 2's room. Ah. Ah, hey, new door. I for- I- Playing through this is making me realize how many areas I forgot existed in this game. What is the weirdest game that you like? Um, okay, if we're talking, like, the weirdest game that I like, um, I'm going to assume it's like a guilty pleasure. I'd probably say the weirdest game that I like would be something like Security Breach, because I know a lot of people really dislike Security Breach, but I actually love Security Breach a lot. Not saying it's like the best game ever or anything, but I just I just had too much fun with that game for me to ever dislike it. Like, just despite its flaws. Also, Y2K is a game with a lot of love put into it. Unfortunately, it's also seen as a pretty bad one. I couldn't recommend it personally unless you're streaming it with friends or for fun. Okay, that makes more sense. Thank you for finally clarifying somebody, and I appreciate the $10. Yo, for, forget the axe, just give him the hands. <laughs> if I could punch the crap out of these guys, I would, believe me. No, Y2K, save yourself from the monologues. Is that a big problem? Is that a big problem with the game or something? Because, I mean, I I monologue and rant a lot, and y'all seem to be enjoying that. But yeah, though, I, I found Security Breach really, really fun. Like, there was a lot of segments of the game I found really memorable. I thought the Pizza Plex was really fun to explore. Um, I thought the dialogue was really entertaining, and I kind of just enjoyed how the animatronics in that game were given more characterization. Like, I understand a lot of the complaints that people have about the animatronics being more human in how they act, but I kind of like it because it was a nice- it was a nice sort of change of pace for me. It felt very different, very unique. And I also just like the way the characterization of the characters was treated, but I know that's definitely, like, not the, uh, majority opinion. So, forward, forward, right, right? No. Okay, forward, forward, right, left. Okay, forward, forward, right, forward. There we go. Try a game called End Chain. Never heard of that one either. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> I'm getting so many game recommendations during the stream. I'll have to check out all of these. Do you like Gravity Falls? Absolutely. I love Gravity Falls a lot. It's um 
it was probably the show that got me into a lot of like Disney shows and a lot of those like I feel like I feel like it was the thing that got me really invested in the whole idea of like you again I get her so much in these rechase phases but um yeah I really I really like it how Gravity Falls was sort of like one of the first to really popularize the whole thing of like an anthology or like episodic based series which slowly like foreshadows and builds up to like a major plot at some point um I, th I just thought that was super, super cool when Gravity Falls did it. And is this... No, this isn't the end of this hallway. Uh, thank you, Le uh, Leon. I don't know how to say your last name. CLP700. I don't know how much that is, but any donations appreciated, so thank you. How'd you come up with all the Veld again? Um, that's actually a funny question. Because, um, like, the whole idea for the Veld again is actually kind of a... F like, it's a, it's a pretty fun one for me to discuss. Because, like, the sort of idea behind the Veldigan as a species started for me when I made Winfrey. Because, um, even though Clyde's my mascot, the first character I made out of that species was actually Winfrey, if you remember him from the, uh, mascots video. Um, basically the whole idea with him was that I wanted- I made him in, like, I made him whenever I was, like, 14, 13, so he's, like, one of my oldest characters. I was trying, whenever I was younger, to make the scariest character I possibly could. What does Clyde look like under the hood? Is he an eldritch horror that we can't comprehend, or... Uh, I imagine Clyde's just, like, this weird little, like, void, like, blob of tentacles and spikes that is, like, vaguely humanoid-shaped. But yeah, um, whenever I was making Winfrey, I was kind of trying to make him just, like, this massive, like, hybrid of all these different characters and ideas that scared me a lot whenever I was younger. So, like, he had, like, a ton of inspiration from different characters. Like, um, I remember, actually, that his main source of inspiration was Vinny from Five Nights at Candy's 3, if y'all know which character I'm talking about. He's, like, the weird puppet dude. Uh, he looks like- he looks just like the puppet, but with a frowny face. Um, oh, uh, hey, we're here at the deer area. But yeah, like, after I made Winfrey, I kind of ended up liking Winfrey so much, and I adapted him so much that I kind of just tried to develop a whole story based around him, and then that evolved into more characters, because I liked the idea of his species so much. Also, yeah, this is, like, this is one of my favorite parts. Like, this is probably, like, the Deer Lord in this area is probably my second favorite um, area in the entire game, right next to uh, the Food Demon. For a while, I thought I had really escaped this place, but despite the trees and flora, I think this is actually just another room. I did, however, find deer, so I may at least get to eat. They make some strange sounds, though. Five Nights at Candy's 3's ending makes me a little scared. Yeah, that game has an amazing story. That game, like, the ending and, like, the ending and just overall story of that game is really disturbing for a fan game. The whole story of, like, the rat is one of the creepiest I've seen from any fan game. I don't know what they are, but those are definitely not deer. I tried sneaking up on one one the other day to kill for food, but it saw me as soon as I got close. I was barely able to get away from the thing. I've managed to board up most of them. Hopefully I can find another way out of here. Yeah, this area is so cool because of how just like how much it stands out. The idea that like this massive mansion has this entire like outside area that um that, like, is just another room in the house with these, like, monstrous deers. It's really cool. Deer time will past your simps for the deer lord. You can't deny it or we will accuse you even more. Okay. Um. I'll just say that I don't. And hope that that'll be enough. I forgot about that image that flashes on my screen every time I kill one of them. But I'm going to be killing a bunch of these deer because I uh, I want to try and get the bad ending, so we're going to be murdering as many of these things with an axe as we can. So, uh... Yeah, I hope this stream is going to take it down for, like, animal cruelty or something. Ooh. God, those images that uh, flash on the screen are friggin'... <laughs> I forgot they existed. Um, apologies to anyone who has, like, epilepsy or anything. Uh, probably should have put... Uh, I can't speak. Probably should have put some kind of flash warning on the stream. Pastor killed Bambi, you heard it first. Yeah, I was the hunter in Bambi who shot Bambi's mom. I'm so sorry. Um, it was justified, I swear. 
Oh, hey, I got a key. Let's go. Don't kill the freaking deer. I'm killing the deer. I'm murdering every single one. Those are not deer. Those are monsters. Also, um... Wait. Okay, I'm going to consume 50 energy drinks and continue working on a couple projects. See you guys. See you guys. It was cool. y 2 k out. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I wish you the best of luck with that. Don't overdo yourself. Um, also, y'all are going to get to hear my favorite song in the soundtrack. This is not the song I thought it was. Oh. Wait. Is it playing now? I thought this was going to play Your Consenting Mind. Um, I guess it isn't. Okay. When you shot Bambi's mom, was it a 360 no-scope? Absolutely. I jumped off a little hill, did a little spin, and shot her right in the head. Hi, Pastor. Good to see your channel growing and everything. You did, you did to achieve it. Keep it up, man. Thank you so much. Oh, Dalton, that's you! <laughs> thank you, Dalton! Everyone say thank you to Dalton. That's my best bud, Dalton. I've known him for 11 years. He's awesome. He's so, so awesome. Thank you so much, Dalton. I wasn't expecting to see you in the chat today, man. You didn't have to do that. You really, really didn't have to do that, Dalton. You're so cool. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go, chat. Let's all thank Dalton. We love having Dalton here, everybody. We love having Dalton here. <laughs> see, Dalton, the chat appreciates you. Also, it's the Dear Lord. Not to take attention away from Dalton, but this this is a really, really sick specimen. I absolutely love them. The sound design, the visuals, everything about them is so cool. Also, their mechanic is really cool with the way they like slide. Oh my god! What the hell was that? The <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you, Dalton. Yeah, I'm trying to read the chat. It's going a million miles a second, but the Dear Lord stresses me out. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad to see that the chat is actually going and thanking Dalton. Dalton deserves it. Ooh. Yeah, Dal Dalton's been uh, Dalton's been my best bud ever since I like ever since like third grade. Been my he was probably like my first fan of the YouTube channel. He was he was a fan of my friggin'. Minecraft channels I made back when I was a little squeaker, and I talked about like friggin' ah! Oh my! <laughs> you know what? Never mind. This is this is the worst specimen to deal with. This is the worst one. I forgot about what this specimen can do. Ew. Please. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah. Dal Dalton was around back when I was making friggin' Minecraft content, and I was a little squeaker. Did mod reviews. And, like, I was running my game at, like, five frames, five frames a second. He was over here watching that stuff, you know? And I'm, I'm just saying, if you if you were watching my stuff back then, then you deserve some kind of seal of approval. You deserve a thank you. 200k special reacting to old content. See, here's the thing. I've considered making a whole stream of me reacting to old content. And I'm sure people would love to watch it. But, like, you guys don't understand. You do not understand how cringe I was. And, like, I don't use the word cringe lightly. I was really bad. I, um... Like... The, the names I gave my channels, the freaking content I made... Um, you're cringe now. Thanks. Thanks, Moon Pizza. That means a lot. Thanks. Hey, I just wanted to say you're one of the most interesting creators I've seen. Thank you for existing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the donation. But cringe is funny. Yeah, you see, it's funny for everyone else, but I don't know if I want to relive the pain of that. Because you see, like, no, no, cringe culture, I, I agree. Like, calling people's interests cringe, uh, calling people's old interests cringe, that's, that, 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 that ain't any good. People can like what they like. But see, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. I was a little kid who was making whatever the hell I wanted on YouTube, and I thought I was going to be, like, the next guy does Minecraft. And there was a point where I was talking about, like, Pokemon games, and those were a whole mess in themselves. Um, I remember at one point, whenever I was younger, I got like a comment on one of my videos calling me Chris Chan Jr. And at the time I didn't know who Chris Chan was, but like five years later when I learned who Chris Chan was, that was probably the biggest insult I've ever received in my life. Also, thank you for the 99 cents, Johnny. It's greatly appreciated. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do a stream of me reacting to old content when we hit like a milestone or like, you know, 
I'm just really wanting to have a... Uh, I'm really wanting to hurt myself during a stream. But, uh... I, th I think you guys would have a good time with that. Oh no, that's got his Minecraft. Yeah, you see that old, that uh, that old like passion of mine to want to be like Sky does Minecraft. I'm really glad I got over that because you you don't want to be like Sky does Minecraft. I heard you like PS1 style games. I'm gonna recommend Golden Light. Imagine a prop hunt game where the props are the ones hunting you. Okay, that actually sounds awesome. Like genuinely, I'm gonna have to try that. Also, thank you so much for the $10. That means so much to me. But like, that sounds super cool. Now I got past her to say my name. <laughs> well, okay, good for you, I guess. Not that cringe, though. Have you heard about 123 Slaughter Mystery? Yeah, I don't like that game. Like, it's, like, it's, it's not bad. It's just, uh, it's a game. End Chain is really fun, definitely a game to play. Thank you for the donation. That dude Skillet, thank you for the $1. And Mango Man, happy to see you finally playing Spookies. I'm glad to finally be playing it. Thank you for the $20. Have my life savings. Um, if it's actually your life savings, please don't give it to me. I want you to, uh, I want you to spend those on what's important. Uh, but thank you so much for the $10. Um, one, two, three, Slaughter Mystery was made for an ARG? What? Is that true? Because, like, I never heard anyone talk about an ARG. If that game was made by, for an ARG, that's really, really interesting, because I thought it was just, you know, oh, just a singular, like, straight hallway walking sim. Which is, the, like, an occasional dude popping out. Give me your life savings instead. Well, I'm not gonna go do that, but, like, it was? Can we get a trans rights? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ben Drown was part of an ARG. Well, yeah, I knew about that much, but, like... I didn't know that 123 Slaughtery Street was. What kind of games do you play casually? Um, I think my favorite, my two favorite games to play casually are Team Fortress 2 and Dead by Daylight is my absolute favorite. Um, Dead by Daylight's got a lot of problems in my opinion, but um, it's just really fun to be able to play a game where it's like you can actually get the feeling of both being in a horror movie as well as being the one chasing people. Been watching this channel for a while, and it's pretty cool. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the donation. Also, we've got the next specimen. Specimen... What is this one? Specimen... Is this specimen 10? I think it's a specimen 10. It's probably specimen 10. Um, this one's pretty sick. It's a, I, I'm pretty sure this one's heavily inspired by The Thing, which is a phenomenal monster movie, if you haven't seen it. Um, say my name. Well, wait... Your name is Water, but it says Walter. I'm so confused. Um, this is Specimen 10. Cool. Um, this one was heavily inspired by The Thing. And, um, man, the whole, like, just the movie The Thing, if you haven't seen it, please do. Um, I'm, like, I'm a huge, like, sucker, and I'm a huge nerd for uh, special, like, practical effects in movies. It has some of the best I've ever seen. Also, who do I mean in TF2? I've got over 500 hours in the Pyro. Pyro is my absolute favorite. I love the character of the Pyro. I love the story of the Pyro. I have some fun hats on Pyro. Please don't hate me for liking the Pyro. Um, also, uh, do you like the Dredge? I think the Dredge is one of the coolest killers they've ever added. Um, amazing design, super cool mechanics, actually fun to play against and isn't broken. Great killer. This old place is somehow even worse than the new GL labs, although it seems to have been constructed with a much larger budget than the new lab. Nothing works qu Nothing works quite right. I can see why it was abandoned so quickly. I wonder if there really is anything here worth salvaging. Yeah, this, uh, this, um, area is super, super cool. Also, like, I know you guys can't see my face cam right now, but, like, I just looked to the side and, like, one of my one of my stuffed animals I have on the shelf like slightly fell over and then it's like right next to like an open door because I'm in like a basement recording this like right next to like a laundry room and I thought for a second that there was like a face in that door frame staring at me and I damn near shrieked uh <laughs> until I realized it was just a stuffed animal <laughs> do I like roguelikes absolutely those games are awesome um my, my absolute favorite is Dead Cells. I think that game is awesome. I really love Dead Cells. I love the sort of Metroidvania style of it. I have to play more of those, though. What's my favorite video game in general? Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's been my favorite since the moment I played it. Absolutely amazing art style, amazing soundtrack, amazing just everything. It's my favorite game I ever played. 
Have you ever played Bloodborne before? It is an outright horror, but it has some great Lovecraftian horror elements. Yes, I have. And Bloodborne is an absolute masterpiece. The game is so well made, has some of the most like amazing mechanics, some of the coolest lore. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with the designs of, um, if y'all know which one I'm talking about, the Shadows of Yarnum. I, I don't know why, but like when it comes to like character designs and fantasy stuff, I'm an absolute sucker for like mysterious like hooded figures with like their faces completely blacked out by the darkness of the hood. I just think that's such a cool like look. Also, I saw a donation that I missed. Never mind, I have two extra dollars. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, right, something else about this, um, this particular specimen I find really cool is that it actually was a different one in the original version of Spookies, and they changed it later to be something more unique. Um, well, Pastor, and now I'll have to explain. In the series The Breaking Bad, the character Walter White says, Say my name, which is what I was referring- <laughs> Thank you for educating me. I am extremely uncultured and have not watched through Breaking Bad. Um, I hear it is an amazing show, though. Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? Yeah, this area is awesome. Since you like Hollow Knight, did you see the new Silk Song trailer launched today? Of course I did. I cannot wait. I've been waiting so long for Silk Song, and I, there's so many people who've been waiting so much longer. I can't wait for the release. Hey, a pastor, another fellow 19-year-old horror enthusiast here. I'm also in the process of making my own ARG, which takes place in the world of Rivals of Aether, a platform fighter with mod support. Dude, Rivals of Aether is so much fun. It's been a while since I touched that game, but um, I'm a huge fan of platform fighters. My absolute favorite character in that game to play as, I feel bad for forgetting him because he was really fun, but I love like the weird frog monk dude. He's super fun. I don't know what to do. I can't think well. I feel strange. I'm hiding from that thing. I feel like something is growing on my skin. I can't seem to tear it off fast enough and I'm losing a lot of blood. Ugh. Scream as loud as you can slash half doking slash whatever those ones are. I'm not screaming unless something scary shows up. If you want to hear me scream as loud as I can, check out the Bendy VOD. I scream pretty loud at some points during that one. Uh, let's get the power back in here. Yeah, there's the old one. And there's the new specimen. Oh, I can't... Right, I can't kill this one. Okay, this specimen's kind of weird, if you guys don't know what its mechanic is. So the whole thing with this guy is that if you get too far away from him, he will transform into a different monster, which is super fast and will, like, just immediately attack you. So you kind of like, while he's chasing you, you have to go on, you have to like walk at like a nice brisk walking pace. Also, I don't think I can kill him with the axe. So there's that too. Now this, this guy is like one of the weirdest and probably the most interesting mechanically. I'm really glad that they changed him from the old one though. Cause the old one, the old one was a lot less interesting than this thing. Eliana the snake. Oh, that's a, that, she was a really cool character. Man, Rivals of Aether had such amazing characters. Have you watched Wamvu's video on the specimens? Yes, I did. It's really, really good. I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't. Okay, in all seriousness, have you played any rogues like like rogue legs like the Binding of Isaac? Um, I've never played Binding of Isaac. I have a friend who's really, really into Binding of Isaac though, and I know that it's a really good game. Play zombies in Spaceland, aka COD Zombies. I I, I played COD Zombies. It's not bad. I'm not too big on Call of Duty and shooter games like that, but it's, it's pretty cool. Where did your axe go? Right here. I've got it. I just haven't been using it. Ah! I like the idea of a monster that is so that is so casually coming towards you. And that's what I kind of like about it too. It's just kind of slowly walking at me with this big gaping maw. And if I try to run from it, it suddenly just becomes super fast. Also. You also play Rivals? That's so cool. Rivals needs to more love, honestly. I couldn't agree more, man. Like, Rivals has a really good modding community. Um, the game itself is extremely well balanced. All the characters in it feel so unique. Like, nobody is, like, a copy of the other. Which is a big problem I have with games like Smash Bros, honestly. Like, I love Smash Bros, but... I feel like that game has a lot of padding in its roster, and that's, like, my biggest criticism of the game. 
Um, but no, Rivals is super unique. Also, uh, oh, will you, will your server when it's open, um, be DID friendly coming from a system? Um, yes, actually, uh, it is. Because, um, we've even got like a mod and we've got a, uh, bot and everything for it. So yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much for the donation. Uh, no, system solitary, yeah. Yeah, um, oh, oh, I was, I was too, I was too, I was too fast. God, I love the animations on this guy. Yeah, so, I also saw somebody ask earlier what my favorite uh, Five Nights at Freddy's game is. It was FNAF 3 back when the channel started up, however, I've changed my mind on that recently. My favorite Five Nights at Freddy's game is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Don't be shy, scream and shout underwear. Thank you for the donation. I don't think I will. I think I'm good. Have you ever heard of the horror game Faith? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> what happens when you reach 666? I forget if there's anything special that happens at room 666. Oh no, he's the quick boy now! <laughs> I keep trying to, like, I keep... Like, th th this, this, uh, this specimen kind of messes with you, because you get so used to just running in a straight path away from these guys. So when suddenly there's one that forces you to be slow and take your time with it, it it's kind of surprising. I would play Smash Bros with you, Pess. <laughs> Glad to hear. I wanted to know because my next OC for the Rivals Workshop is supposed to be an Abyss horror character, and I think his design will pique your interest. I mean, the description piques my interest. Like, I gotta say. I always, I always really like the whole idea of that sort of like, uh like, abyssal, voidy look for, like, horror characters. This was such a surprise that there would be another entry, another actual entry, one I could admire. But then, as I sudden, as suddenly as it came, it left. And now you disband. Your influence and inspiration will never leave me. This area always sort of confused me. Also, I always get really tense here because there's a jump scare here that's actually, like, genuinely frightening. But it only happens sometimes in this room. So I'm, like, really stressed out trying to wait for it to happen. Okay, no jump scare yet. There we go. Okay. Uh, Pure Vessel or Nightmare King Grim, which is harder for you? Um, both of them are pretty difficult. However, I found Pure Vessel more difficult. I, um, for fun, as a way of sort of, a, uh, as a way of sort of, um, uh, taking a break from doing, um, Pantheon 5 in Hollow Knight, I tried doing some, like, hitless runs of Nightmare King Grim and Pure Vessel, and Nightmare King Grim, I got done way faster than Pure Vessel. That one just, there's something about its attacks that really mess with me. Have you ever played milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk? What? Is that actually the name of a game? I don't got much money, but I wanted to help you out. <laughs> You really don't have to. I appreciate it so much, but you really don't have to. Do you see the new Silk Song trailer? Yes, yes I did. I can't wait for Silk Song. Hell, whenever that game comes out, I know my channel is mainly horror horror theme, but I've really considered streaming it on day one. Because like y'all know I'm playing the shit out of that game when it comes out. <laughs> Pure Vessel's my favorite Hollow Knight boss. Such a fun fight. I it's my second favorite. Um Grim and Nightmare King Grim have always been my favorite characters in the game. They've got my favorite boss theme from probably any game I've played other than maybe like Big Shot from Deltarune. Um, Grim's design is so, so cool because like, I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with like bats and vampires and that whole thing. They're like my favorite animal. So to have like this weird like bat themed like bug dude running around, I thought that was super cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Well, it's greatly appreciated. So yeah, I gotta keep remembering I have the axe, because I gotta I gotta hit these guys with my axe to get the bad ending, which is what I want this time around. Oh! Oh! Hello! I think I hit him actually. Is your Is your channel name Pastra derived from pastas and creepypasta? Uh yes, yes it is. Or at least that's what I like to tell people. Um the it is derived from pasta, but it kinda just came from the fact that I was eating a bowl of pasta and it came to me like magic but I like to say that uh it's from creepypasta because that suits the theme more and sounds cooler I love white 
Guys, Sass, stop bringing up Y2K in this chat. I don't know what the hell it is. Drink milk. It makes your bones have a better taste. I can't drink milk. I'm lactose intolerant. I have to drink almond milk. Also, you need to hit specimen one, aka the boards that jump out. Right. Right. Yeah. I'll be sure to hit as many of them as I can, too. I sure do love me some creepy pastry, yeah, like... I like to pretend my name came from something super creative and on theme, but no, it really didn't. I just like the way Pastra sounded whenever I sounded it out. The spec part that I use in, like, my URLs and other social media, though, okay, it's just a shortened version of the word Spectre, because I find the word sounds cool, and I also really like ghosts. Um, what art program do I use? I use Paint Tool Sci. I've been using it for the last, what, like, five years? It's a really reliable art program, and I feel like I couldn't change off of it even if I wanted to. <laughs> ten left. That's, uh, that is very ominous. Ten, ten left of what? Pastor man is lactose intolerant. <laughs> Intolerate? I am. I am. I can't have any milk. Dairy kills me. I do not regret giving Pastor my money. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I would feel really bad if you came to regret it. Oh, so we're getting closer to room 666. It's a spooky number, guys. It's a real spooky number. Well, why are you named Pastor? Pastor, look, man, I'm really hungry. You're right. You're right. If you ever consider looking into my ARG, check out the Villains of Aether YouTube channel. Well, thank you for the donation. Um, I'll definitely be sure to check it out sometime. You ever try the DLCs for Spookies? I've played everything for Spookies. I've played absolutely everything. I love this game to death. It's not my favorite horror game anymore, but I mean, it's my second favorite, and I think that says something. Opinion on Portal and Portal 2. Oh, those games are some of the best I've ever played. Portal 1, um... Portal 1, I think, has some of, like, the best, like, just, like, creepy atmosphere from any game. But, like, the story and the improvements that... Portal 2 made to the game are absolutely amazing and I genuinely believe that um, GLaDOS is one of the most well written and most interesting villains from any game I've ever played um, GLaDOS has like, she has such an interesting design her story is so interesting and like I find it weird cause like GLaDOS is like this perfect blend of being like this really really like funny entertaining character and being genuinely really scary and unsettling. Also, hey, we're at room 666. Ooh, spooky number. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it's gone. Hope you guys enjoyed that while it lasted. I really want to know how to draw good, and I think you're the right person to listen to. Well, um, if I were to give it art advice, it's really hard for me to give art advice other than, you know, like what everyone wants to hear, which is, or wants to say, which is just, oh, just draw more. Um, because, you know, I feel like that's really not helpful. Well, like, it's not that it's not helpful, because telling someone just to draw a lot is, like, the best thing you can do to improve. But, um, I guess, to give you an idea of how I improved, I just sort of- I just started out drawing and try to re trying to recreate, like, styles of a lot of things I really enjoyed, be it, like, games, artists, that kind of stuff. Basically, I sat down and I thought to myself what it is I'm good at drawing, and what it is I enjoy drawing. And I didn't really give much care to drawing anything else. Like, I, I got my start really as an artist whenever I became a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's and I wanted to try and draw the, ac the animatronics as accurately as possible. And then I got even more into the sort of style of drawing like weird, surreal monsters um, when I got into Yume Nikki. And trying to recreate that style and just drawing whatever I enjoyed and doing it over and over again sort of got me better and better at that. And I felt like I found, like, a niche and just that gave me the drive to draw them over and over again. So I guess what I could say is, like, obviously just draw a lot and you'll get better. But, you know, find the thing you want to draw a lot. Find the thing that is really, really fun for you to draw and just go wild on it. And, like, don't care about anything else, honestly, if you're just starting out. You should only really, like, take it super seriously if, you know, 
it's something you want to like pursue as a career. Also, I see two donations. I recommend Y2K as a joke, but if you want a good game with a Y2K aesthetic, play Jet Set Radio. That game, I've heard some good things about it. It looks pretty interesting. I have not fully completed the exam work I had to do, but it's 4 a.m. and I'm way too tired, so I'll be leaving now. Have a great rest of the stream. Yeah, and you have a good night. I wish you the best of luck on that, and I'm glad you didn't push yourself too hard on it. Because I feel like if you push yourself too hard, then it would have just done the opposite, and it would have just made you too tired, or you wouldn't have been able to maintain anything that you uh, got from the studying. Have you played Ultra Kill? Yes! Or how- wait. I can't remember if I have, that's kind of fun. Um, I think I have. I've seen stuff from it. I know for a fact I've seen stuff from it, and it looks really cool. Um, have you played Bioshock? No, but I fully plan to. I've had it recommended to me so much ever since I said Bendy was my favorite horror game, because apparently they're extremely similar. To get the bad ending, you need to hit minor enemy- Okay, wait. You need to hit minor enemies in Specimen 1 enough to trigger the ending. Okay, good to know. Thank you for being super cool. Your art is a huge inspiration to me. Do you know the movie Coraline? It seems right up your alley. Oh, oh, you have no idea how many times I've watched Coraline. Um, the other mother is one of my favorite um, villains from any animated film. And I really love the cat. Like that movie, such a phenomenal style and animation. It's one of the best animated films I've ever watched. It's not my number one, but it's so far up there. Have you heard of Local 58? It's an ARG kind of like, uh, even if it hasn't been updated in a while. Isn't that like, that's, that's a, that's an analog horror series, right? Um, <clears throat> I've considered checking it out because analog horror is probably my favorite horror genre. Um, and I'm a huge fan of the Walton Files and I'm like a massive, massive Mandela catalog fan. So I feel like that would be right up my alley. Also, I realized that I haven't been attacking Specimen 2 with my axe. I've been playing this kind of like, absentmindedly. Lankman scares the hell out of me, man. That voice is so creepy. Also, do you have any interest in SCP? Uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, Lankman is my voice, so I appreciate the fact that I did a good job on that. Or at least do you think so. And yes, I, I adore SCP. I think SCP is... Like... I think SCP is one of the most interesting, like, ideas. With it being this, like, massive collaborative effort between a bunch of different artists to create something really interesting. And some of the characters in there are so cool. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyways, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonists will look like. I hope they're cute. I'm just gonna take a sip of water real quick here, guys. Uh, okay. But I'm, I talk a lot on these streams and it gets my throat dry. Chat, we almost at 69! <laughs> Let's go! We're almost there, guys! Alright, guys, one room ahead, one room ahead. If I can find where the door is, give me a second. Oh, 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 oh! There it is! There it is! 69, it's the funny number. Let's get those nices in the chat. Ooh, and it's over. No milk equals no bones. That's right, I'm just a blob. My arms work sort of like Clyde's do, where they're just noodles because there's no bones in them. And there's the nices! Let's go! <laughs> Let's freaking go! 69 is the funniest number. We're the peak of comedy. Peak of comedy. God. We're all so funny. Aren't we? Like, chat, aren't we hilarious? It is astounding how funny we are. Oh, hello. Hello, Clicky. Bye-bye, Clicky. Not nice. You know, I never really paid much attention to how good the chase music is for uh, Specimen 3. I really like this. Oh, is Pastor an SCP? Oh, so I know we should do something I'm good at. Oh, well, I don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I know what I should do. Something I'm good at. Yeah, definitely. Um, also, yeah. I, also, like... I paused at literally, like, this pause I did is, like, moments before disaster. Like, I paused right as he's about to land on me, so we're gonna, we're gonna unpause here and see how this goes. Okay, we're actually okay, surprisingly. <laughs> oh lord, yeah, the people in the chat is like, oh, oh no, oh no, he's dead. 
It was at this moment he knew. I'm glad I was thinking that too. Funny thing about Coraline and you wouldn't know. Oh, hey. And you wouldn't know of it if you haven't read the book. But it suggests that the other world is the inside of another creature while the other mother is a parasite? Excuse me? That's that's actually so interesting. I had no idea about that. Dude, Coraline just is genuinely a movie that gets cooler every single time. Like, you'll learn more about it with every rewatch. What's the zipper for? It's, it's to keep the onesie on. You gotta zip up a onesie to make sure it doesn't fall off. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to wear it. Please, I need to know, have you ever played an instrument? Yes, um, actually, I own a an electric bass guitar. I really, really love playing the bass. Um, I'm not very good at it, admittedly. And um, I don't play it as often as I'd like to, but it is really, really fun when I do. And it's my absolute favorite instrument. Have I ever played Bad End Theater? I actually have, and it's pretty good. Wait, Clyde's wearing a onesie? Yeah, he's wearing a Halloween onesie. He's wearing one of those, like, uh, demon, like, imp onesies you can get at, like, those clothing stores around Halloween time. Oh yeah, it's a onesie. <laughs> People in the chat realizing that Clyde's wearing a onesie, yeah. Um, Clyde's design was based off of, like, these Halloween onesies that I used to sell back when I worked at a retail store, back before YouTube was my main source of income. Um, I worked there around Halloween time. We got these cute little, like, demon onesies that had, like, these little spiked tails. They weren't, like, orange and stripey, but they were, like, these red little imp outfits. I got a shark onesie from there back when I worked there. Okay, we're gonna go right. Ah! These friggin' puzzles. Left? Oh, come on. Okay, left, and then straight forward three times. Uh, see you later, Never Portal. Thank you for being here. Clyde Onesie merch? Oh, man, I'd love to. What I would give to be doing these streams with you guys in, like, an actual, like, properly sized Clyde Onesie, that would be extremely fun. And very cozy, I imagine. Um, although, since it's we're getting close to summertime, I feel like that would kill me from, like, heat stroke. Does Lankman... Does Lankman's video player, the medium through which he speaks to the viewers, have a name? Like, Lankos or something? Ah! I never really had a name for it. I always just, you know, it was always just sort of like the whole idea, like, oh, he's hijacking the channel, he's glitching things out, oh, he hacked Pastra. Oh, the videos are breaking because he's not supposed to be there, ooh. Ooh, Lankman's a spooky boy. <laughs> face reveal when? Um, I was planning on doing the face reveal, actually, extremely soon. Um, because, like, I'm not too, I'm not too, um, like, sensitive about showing my face online to people. Um... So, I was planning on doing a video with a face reveal, actually, surprisingly soon. Also, we're here! We're here! This is my favorite part of the game! Hey, Pastor, I've been watching for a while, and I love your content and characters. Winfrey especially. Wish you luck and Link. Uh, good rest of the stream. Thank you so much! Thank you for the donation! You donated right in time for my favorite part of the game. Please do not put face in thumbnail. I will not. What's your favorite video game soundtrack? Mine is Terraria. Good choice! Um, probably Hollow Knight. I think Hollow Knight is my favorite. But, uh, okay, chat, we're here. We're at my favorite part of the game. Um, I could not explain, like, properly why I love this area so much. But, like, I just feel like thematically and story-wise, this area is just so interesting and the specimen tied to it is so cool. Um, because, like, I'll, I'll read these notes to you and then once I sort of have an idea of, like, the story is... I kind of want to go into, like, go on, like, a little mini-rant about it, because this area was so awesome the first time I saw it. Um, one, I was anxious getting a job here at first, but it seems like things are getting better. This chain is really expanding, which is a shock, because just last week I heard this company was going broke. Every day, more and more people show up to eat here. Something still sets me off about this place and its food, though, so I'm going to try and not eat anything from here. I, like, I don't know what it is, guys. Maybe it's because of the fact that, like, um, I got into Five Nights at Freddy's when I was, like, a younger kid. But, like, 
I've always had this like really strong love for like creepy fast food restaurants in horror as like as like a thematic and like a story setting. Hey, a pastor, what do you think about collaborations with smaller content creators? Of course, just asking for a friend. Also, Terraria Music Best. I mean, like, I'm always open to do collaborations with people I like, you know, I know and I like talking to. Um, they usually just take a lot of work to plan out those, so I don't go for them often. But yeah, um, I really love the weird thematic of, like, creepy fast food restaurants in horror, because I find it really, like, just fun. Probably a result of just me reading really into Five Nights at Freddy's at a young age. But I don't know, there's just something so fun about it to me. Um, and I find the story of this particular place super interesting. Two, today was a weird day. The average number of orders continues to rise as it, is, as it has been, but I don't know about the number of people. Today I saw someone use the drive-thru and order a lot of food for one person, and then about 10 minutes later they were back. They ordered the same exact meals and then they left again. Then after another 10 minutes, they were back again. Maybe they're just delivering food for a party or hotel, but it worries me for some reason. Like, I don't know. The story of this particular place is just so creepy and so bizarre. It's something... It, it, I feel like it's something I'd want to write as a horror story for some reason. Three. Well, I broke my one rule today. The management doesn't give out actual lunch breaks, so I can't go anywhere. And they won't allow outside food here. I mean, they actually screamed at the last company who did that. Customer. Company. Anyway, I had a burger. It wasn't bad, and I don't feel and I don't feel sick, so I might get a few every now and then. Oh. I work at McDonald's and this is pretty accurate. <laughs> don't tell me that, man. My brother works at McDonald's. Also, I don't really know what's going on in there. Um, I'm just gonna leave them two of that. Have you seen Happy's Humble Burger Farm? No, however, I heard about it. I thought the idea of it sounded awesome. That's uh, that's on my stream list. I definitely plan to stream that. Have you messed around with any of the You May Nikki fan games? No, I haven't. But however, I've heard so many good things about You May Nikki fan games. Uh, so here we are in the fun tunnel. Knowing Christopher Larkin gets a real orchestra for Silk Song gives me infinite joy. Also, Clyde Wednesday goes, Bur I cannot wait for Silk Song, man. I cannot wait. I'll say, yeah, Clyde Onesies. He's a cute little dude. I love this area too, the friggin' uh, fun tunnel. As I said, I'm a sucker for like, I'm a sucker like, for like the fast food uh, setting for horror, but I also really like the weird like carnival feeling. Thoughts about Iron Lung? It's a good game. Uh, nothing I'd ever want to talk about as a video just because it, uh, I feel like there's nothing I could add to it as a discussion topic, but it's, it's not bad. Is it okay if I call you pasta? So many people do. Go for it. I don't care. It's just kind of funny when people do. Also, we've got this weird mysterious chain pulling up weird mysterious stuff. Uh, that doesn't look like a concern. Pastor, say my name. Uh, okay, am I supposed to say Walter here or Emerson David? I'm kind of getting missed up from that last donation I got that was asking this. Six, I'm leaving. I fell asleep in my car today after eating some of those burgers. I remember brief flashes of a man or animal coming towards me and feeling like some huge lumbering thing was wailing from deep underground as I continued eating. When I woke up, I was fine, but it veered off the road. I don't know if it's some weird allergic reaction to a preservative they use or something much worse, but this is my last day. Oh. I wonder if I can scare you from the- scare you from the chat sometimes somehow. Won't be this one. My wallet wouldn't allow it. Then again, I guess I have already. Dude, like- I'm still processing that. Have you played Shovel Knight? If so, what are your thoughts on the game? Also, I'm lactose intolerant too, uh, and it kind of sucks. Yeah, you're right. I love dairy food. I really do. Uh, but yeah, also I have played uh, I have played Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's a great game. I really, really, really love the Spectre Knight. Uh, they're my absolute favorite character in that game. However, I also really like the Plague Knight. What does Clyde look like under the onesie? Well, he looks like Clyde. That's actually answer the question. He's like, I always imagine him being like this weird void-like blob of like tentacles and spikes with like a like vaguely shaped like a person. I like like kind of one of the whole one of the whole thematics I was kind of going for with Clyde visually was the idea that like 
his onesie was supposed to be super cute and soft looking, but he himself underneath was super, like, spiky and dangerous looking. Like, he's got, like, the realistic human teeth, he's got, like, the spiky tail, he's got the big claws and, like, the horns. Like, he's supposed to look, like, really sharp and pointy while his onesie's super cute and fun looking. Oh, so let's go into the meat cellar. Ooh. Ooh. Got the key out. And here comes my favorite specimen in the entire game. I am obsessed with this guy. Wherever he is. There he is. I adore Specimen 11 so much. He's so cool. His chase music, his design, his mechanic, everything. He's so cool. Yes, yeah, structure like Ben and Clive plushies. I love that so much. They all get mix and match plushies. Oh, that would be so fun. Yeah, this this friggin' specimen is so cool though. Oi! Last one for the night. I should sleep. Sayonara. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all the donations. It means the world to me. I hope you have the best night you can. God, I love this specimen. I want to go a bit more into it when he's not chasing me. Well, I guess I can go into it since, you know, the chase is largely the same thing. But, like, I think the thing I really love about, um, Specimen 11 is, like, there's a lot more, like, subtlety and a lot more of, like, a surreal nature to his story compared to the other, uh, specimens. Like, having this... Having this, like, fast food chain that was ascribed as failing suddenly start, like, succeeding, and it's, like... The people who come here are constantly, like, coming and going over and over again. Also, can I attack him? I can attack him. Good to know. But, like, I just find that super, super interesting. And, like, the fact that he's this weird, like, floating demon, like, it kind of implies the idea that, like, whatever they did to get the, like, this, like, restaurant's, the restaurant to succeed involved, like, making some kind of deal with a demon. Which is so over the top, but it's so, like, it suits the theme of this game so well, where we've got, like, these genuinely creepy characters in such an over the top, like, fun environment, and I just love them for it. Also, the mechanic of making doors disappear and, like, slowly floating towards us, that's, like, that mechanic can be genuinely nerve-wracking, especially when you're playing Endless Mode and you need to get out of each room as quickly as possible. Like, Spenceman 11 makes Endless Mode so much more tense every time he appears. What is this game? This is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Uh, highly recommend playing it if you haven't, or you can just enjoy watching me play it because I love this game. Gl Greed and Gluttony does something to you, am I right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Is Lankman a gamer? If so, uh, do you play with him? Is Lankman scared of anything, and do you ever scare him? Roxy or Alice? Also, is Lankman and you ever got into an argument? Me and Lankman haven't gotten into an argument. It was called the hijacking. Um, Lankman is not a gamer. He's too old for that. Um, Alice is top tier. Alice is perfect. I would not choose Roxy over her. Um, and what was the other question, even? Uh... I can't remember the other question, but I answered as many as I could remember. Stop, stop, guys! No, I, I see the sims starting! Do not! I see them starting, guys! No, no, no! Stop, guys! Stop, guys! No, no, guys, no! Come on, come on, guys! We can't, we can't do this every single time! We can't do this every time, guys! This can't be the one running joke! No, guys, it is a wall! It is nothing but s guys! Please! I was answering a question, guys! I'm being interactive with my community! I do not deserve to be punished like this when interacting with you guys! What have, you, what have I done? I was just interacting with my community! I like how you... It is nothing but Sims in the chat! I'm losing my mind! This is what insanity looks like. This is madness. I can't breathe. You can't breathe. I'm being called a simp by my entire fan base. I have 1,823 people watching right now, and every single one is calling me a simp.
You guys are breaking my my voice right now. I can't. I can't. My throat can't take this. Thanks for the two dollar donation. Uh, a funny JoJo reference laugh. <laughs> this is how Pastor's Joker arc begins. One of these days, one of these days, y'all are gonna call me a simp, and you're gonna hear we live in a society, and it's not gonna be funny anymore, guys. It's not gonna be funny anymore. It sounds like Morty. Now. Okay, okay. I see how it is. God, thank you for the donation, but... <laughs> I, I see. Thoughts on Nightmare King Grimm? Um, my fa Nightmare King Grimm is my favorite boss fight from any game I've ever played. One of my favorite character designs. Uh, super fun to fight. Amazing aesthetic. Amazing soundtrack. Just overall phenomenal. Alright, Spooky Troll Me Aside, let's look at some of these donations. Have I ever played Park? No, uh, but I'll have to look it up. Thanks for the $2. I just found out that you can play this in VR. Yeah, I didn't know about that until recently. I'm gonna have to try that. When the Discord opens up, will you VC with fans? I do VC with fans in, uh, in my Discord server. It's pretty fun. Although, me being there kind of ends up making the VCs devolve into chaos, so I don't do it often. What if Lankman is a boomer? How does he know the insanity meme? Um... That's a great question. I'm not calling you a simp. Like, would you like? Thank you, Corpite. Thoughts on Dead of Night? Jimmy AI, uh, Jimmy Al? Right. Right. Jimmy's AI is scary smart. Yeah. Isn't that the point and click one with, like, live action elements? That game was pretty cool. I saw, uh, I saw Markiplier playing it. And I thought it was really neat. Okay, and anyone asking where the Discord server is? It's currently private, but don't worry. I'll be opening it up to the public again soon. We've just been trying to get more moderators to, uh, be able to handle if we have an influx of people. Also, by the way, um, to anyone who didn't know this, when Spooky said there was uh, unlimited stamina, she actually meant I can't run anymore. I have no stamina. I cannot run physically anymore. What's my favorite of the Veld again? Uh, well, Clyde is my favorite. Clyde will always be my favorite just because, you know, Clyde was designed to sort of be this combination of all these characters I really like in thematics. So it's kind of unfair to compare the others to Clyde. However, if I had to pick a favorite that wasn't Clyde, it's really difficult because I love them all, but I'd probably either say Winfrey or Simon. Winfrey was the first, like, OC I ever made out of my collection of Veldigan, so he's a special place in my heart, and Simon, because like I said earlier, I have just, like, this really strong love for, um, the sort of, like, rustic, like, sort of, like, Outback type horror settings and Simon's this scarecrow. Do you see the Veldigan like your children? Yes. I, it's really, it is really, really hard for me to pick a favorite. Whenever I say who my favorites are, like that changes every time except for Clyde. Um, who's my favorite Bendy character? I love all the Bendy characters, but my favorite is the Projectionist. I think the Projectionist is super cool. Probably the most creative idea in the entire game in my opinion. What does Clyde's lower half look like? Uh, well, I have a reference sheet for him on my Twitter if you want to see that. <laughs> Alice, gaming age. <laughs> gaming age, we, we're, not, we're not starting another, another simp train gaming age. Although Alice is an amazing character. Did you know there's a talking spam tip plus? Yes, and I have it set up on my fan gamer account. I have four different, or not four, I have three different emails that are set to be, uh, emailed by the website when the talking spam Tim plush drops. You see? Look what you did, gaming age! They're all calling me a simp again! This is your fault! You started this! You started this again! Why do you have to put me through this? Oh, because you had to bring her up again. Look what you did! It's a whole wall of simps! God, you, you bring up Alice once! You bring up Alice once during one of my streams! You bring her up one time and suddenly the whole chat loses their mind! And suddenly everyone's clipping me! I've only had two streams so far and this is like the one thing I'm known for now, guys! Please, for God's sake! Can we please stop the sip trains? I, I... Guys, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of being called a sip, guys. Please, I don't... Please make it stop. 
<laughs> it's okay, we're all simps. If you say simp, you get an L. Uh, okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you see? Gaming, gaming is right, guys. Gaming age is right. If you say simp in the chat, if you say simp in the chat right now, you get a big fat L. Big fat L. Nobody wants an L. What does Lank... What does Lankman look like without his hat? Um... Wondering if his head is built like a soup can. Is should be flat? Um... Alice Sim... Dal Dalton! Dalton, no, you're a traitor! I was having the whole chat thank you earlier, Dalton! Why would you do this to me, man? Dalton, I thought I could trust you! Why would you do that to me? You even... You... you you even donated me to say that, man. I thought only I was special. 11 years of friendship built up to this. I thought I knew you, Dalton. Could the chat please shame Dalton? Could the chat please? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I thought we were cool, man. I was... <laughs> you know, I was looking forward to hanging out with you tomorrow, Dalton, but I don't think I will anymore. I think... I think... I, this betrayal, this betrayal hurts me, man. Yeah, you see, look, the chat, the chat's calling. You see, shame on Dalton. <laughs> I've got a mob after you now, man. Dalton took the L. <laughs> Damn it, Dalton. You think you know a guy, chat? Shame on you, Dalton. Thank you for the donation. You're right. You think, you think you know a guy? You think you know a guy? Dalton the Among Us imposter. My friend over here literally donating money just to call me a simp. I swear, past we live in a society- You're right, we do! We live in a world- We live in a world where people who you think are your best friend just come out of nowhere and call you a simp. Joins in on the mob mentality. What's your favorite game after Hollow Knight? Um... After Hollow Knight, it's probably Bendy and the Ink Machine. That or, uh, that, that or Dead by Daylight. Dalton took the L to take attention off your simping. Oh my god, wait, you're right. Oh my god, that might have been Dalton's plan the whole time. Dalton just wanted to, Dalton just wanted to get all the people to stop the, with the simp train. Dalton, if that's what you wanted the whole time, thank you, man. It's alright, Pastor, everyone's got a little Alice simp in them. Because if they had a, oh, because if they had a big Alice simp in them, they'd have Pastor in them. Thank you for the donation. Simp super into Minecraft playing. Thank you. You can thank me later. Fun fact. Unlike you, I have never simped. Good, good for you. Good for you. Shame on Dalton, but past you. God damn it. For a moment, Dalton saved me from the simp train. How tall are Clyde and Lankman? Um, Clyde stands at six foot six. Clyde or er, Lankman stands at five foot five. Lankman is actually surprisingly short. You're the biggest sim. Okay, Poogles. I see. That's pretty, uh... That's pretty rich coming from you. Got all my friend group banding together to betray me like this. A little smiley face. Ooh. Ooh. Also, uh, just warning people that there's a high likelihood that a jump scare is gonna happen in this room. So, uh, just in case it happens to me, uh, brace yourselves. There we go, there we go, okay. Simpastra troll, oh yeah. Dalton, Dalton, how could you? You think you know a guy? I don't know what a simp is. Good, keep it that way, keep it that way. That way you'll have more respect for me. Bro, simping again? No! Wait, Lankman is 5'5"? Five, five. Yeah, um, Lankman is short. Lankman's a short guy. Hey, my favorite specimen. Yes, Deer Lord is one of the best. It is my second favorite specimen, right behind, uh, right behind the Food Demon specimen eleven. Who's more dangerous, Clyde or Lankman? In the case of the whole hijacking ARG, it's definitely uh, Lankman. However, if we're talking about like the actual story I made them for, that's heavily debatable. There's a small horror game I think you'd like. It's called, it's a horror social deduction game called Among Us. <sighs> okay, you got me. 
Wait, the monster named Lankman is a short king? You got it. I like my, uh, I like my scary juxtapositions, what can I say? He's not 6'2", Lankman no longer hot. Lankman was never hot, guys! Lankman was always a freaky old wrinkly man. If you thought Lankman was hot, then I don't know what to tell to you. Hey, Pastor, I want to say I'm a big fan in that your videos have been a huge inspiration in the D&D campaign that I DM. That's awesome! I'm so happy to hear that. I actually recently started up my own D&D campaign, uh, just, a, just yesterday. Um, I've been, I've been planning it out for six months. It's really, really fun playing D&D. I love DMing. Can I cosplay Clyde? And I 100% simp for Alice. Well, 100%! Go ahead, if you want to cosplay Clyde, go for it. I'd love to see it. And I'm glad to see that we have a fellow, a fellow appreciator of Alice here. I'm a half foot shorter than Clyde. Yeah, Clyde's massive. Someone make fan art of Pastor and Alice. Oh, people already have. Believe me. If you saw my Twitter after the Bendy stream, you'd see just how much fan art there was. It was kind of shocking. Have both my horror villain and my hero taller than Clyde and Lankman since they're both seven feet tall. Yeah, Lankman and Clyde, I mean, like, Clyde's pretty tall, but Lankman is surprisingly short. Dandy's Poggers. Dandy's Poggers, I have a lot of characters for stuff. I'll see how I'm like two to three inches shorter than Lankman. Yeah, Dandy's awesome. Ooh, ooh, this part's really cool too, guys. I really, really like this area as well. Have I ever played Little Nightmares? Yes, I love Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares is so, so cool. Such an amazing art style. I haven't played the second one, though. I somehow managed to get away, but I don't know for how long. I hear him, even when I know he's not there. It's like he isn't even real, but instead my own fears manifesting themselves and stalking me. Yeah, if I remember correctly, um... The monster in this area, like the creepy dude with the big scythe, He's inspired by- I know he's inspired by, like, a really old horror game, but I can't remember the name of it. It's one of, like, the oldest horror games. This mansion is strange. I think the bricks and wood are actually just painted on. Everything still feels kind of fake. Also, I keep hearing movement and voices below me. Maybe other survivors are hiding down there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2 on stream sometime. I can hear him coming down the hallway. I need to hide, but I don't know where. I know this is not an exit or resting place, it's just another specimen room. I think he's outside the door now. Whoa! We're hiding! Here comes one of the creepy dude- Clock Tower! Thank you! Thank you guys! Yeah, um... Clock Tower. There's a- there's a- there's a dude in Clock Tower with this giant pair of scissors that like slowly walks towards you and he's all freaky looking. Um, that's the character that inspired the dude that chases you in this segment of the game. And I think one of the coolest parts about this guy is that First of all, his dialogue's actually kind of funny sounding. And second of all, what's really cool here is that the actual building is the specimen, rather than the guy inside of it. And it's heavily implied that the guy coming after us is actually, like, being possessed by the, um, by the specimen. Which I find really cool. Also, yeah, there he is. I really love him, too, because, like, he has the whole, like, he has the whole, like, old PlayStation 1 style model that I really love from... Like, a lot of horror game art styles. It's one of my favorite art styles. It's like that old PS1 style. I really want to play more PS1 style horror games. It's probably my favorite look. That and, like, hand-drawn and pixel art. Those are the three best. What's your thoughts on the anthology series? I don't really have one since I don't really know what it is. Do you play Magic the Gathering? No, I don't play Magic the Gathering. However, my father does, and he's a really huge fan of it. Haunted PS1 demo disc. Yep, I, I know about that one. I really badly want to play it. Um, I promised a friend of mine that I would uh, play it with them in a Discord call, though. So, I may stream it in the future. May not. We'll see. Uh, we'll... Uh, let's continue down this weird pathway. I always get kind of lost in this section because there's a lot of doors and a lot of stuff going on. Thoughts on Yu-Gi-Oh? Eh, it's okay. I'm not too big on card games. Does Clyde and Lankman have an age? They do, but I've yet to, like, they have, like, an, I have an idea of how old they are, but I've never really decided on that specifically. Oh! He ain't gonna find me. What's my opinion on Boneworks if you've seen or played it? No idea what it is. 
as a gamer <laughs> pastor as a gamer dad confirmed I do I do my dad is a lovely person stream it with your friend in the discord call maybe haha <laughs> Jojo reference laugh now simp thank you for the two dollars the word simp has lost all meaning to me weird question so cloud so Clyde sounds exactly like you but aren't Clyde but you aren't Clyde, you're Pastor, but your profile for the stream is Clyde, but I don't think you're playing as Clyde. Just... I don't know how to answer that, honestly. It's just a whole lot of confusing stuff. Also, I missed this note. What is this? Wow, what a mansion. It's not another mansion. Maybe I've made it all the way to the end of the house. Maybe this is like a resting place or another entrance, perhaps. Whatever the case, I think this is a good spot to rest. Oh, nope. What is your favorite song? Mine is Creepy Doll. Um, I have two choices I usually say for my favorite song. My favorite song is a really hard toss-up between A Day in the Life by The Beatles and The Court of the Crimson King by King Crimson. Uh, Lankman cannot dunk on Michael Jordan. Oh no, definitely not. No, Michael Jordan would kick his ass. Absolutely kick his ass. I just assume the pastor looks exactly like Clyde IRL. Yeah, that'll be one hell of a face reveal. Also, I am lost looking for the library chat. You've got to bear with me here for a moment. Have I ever played the Crooked Man? Yes, I've seen- I've, I've watched a Markiplier playthrough of it. King Crimson Peak, yeah, I agree. There we go, I found it. I don't think- yeah, he doesn't- oh, there's a book missing. Right, I gotta go find the missing book with the key I got. Court of the Cri I am glad we have so many, like, people who are properly cultured with good music taste in this live stream. I'm glad to see it. Um, y'all have some good taste. King Crimson like that JoJo- I knew the joke was coming. I knew the JoJo joke was coming. I just didn't know when. It's like a jump scare where you're waiting to happen. Where the hell is the book? I hate the clockwork chase music is stapled into my brain. Like, it's good, but I I get made paranoid for a while. I haven't listened to that in a while. I'm back. I know you missed me. No need to be upset. John Paradise with a hundred dollars! What the hell? Dude, you donated so much money last time. Like, you donated so much money and you've pledged to my Patreon. Where are you getting all this money? Like, actually, where's all this money coming from? Like, I swear, you better not be, like, throwing all the money you have at me because I'm gonna feel really terrible. Like, <laughs> thank you so much, but, like, what? Where is it all coming from, man? Money laundering, tax evasion. <laughs> I don't want out illegal money either. If you're doing stuff illegally, you gotta let me know. John, rich as hell, you're right. Like what? Also, Chad, I'm extremely lost. I'm, I'm sorry if you're watching me walk around aimlessly. I, I do not know my way around this environment very well. This mansion confuses the hell out of me. Like seriously, John, what the hell? Like, oh my god. Is Winfrey Ballin also John Paradise moment? Thank you, Lunar Soul, for the one dollar. Yeah, freaking John Paradise moment indeed. Like, what the hell, man? Where am I going? <laughs> Thoughts on Nine Inch Nails? I don't listen to too much of their music. However, the music I do like by them, I really like. Um, my god, I am literally running in circles. Nah, it's legal money. Oh my god! Again with the $99! Where is this coming from, John? What the hell? Dude, you've got to stop giving me so much money! I don't know how to react to this! I don't know how to handle this much money! I've never been given this much money in my life! Like, I'm losing my mind, John. And also, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Speaking of music, have you ever heard of a group called Friday Pilots Club? They're one of my favorite groups in recent time. Also, their title album was wonderful. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> John Paradise moment. Thank you both for the $10. John, what the hell? Where are you getting all this money from, John? I don't understand, John. What are you, like, what? What? 
like the during the Benny stream, you donated like a hundred dollars twice, and you donated like fifty dollars. Where are you getting all this money to give it to me? I don't understand. John is the rich man of the stream. Like what the hell? Thoughts on Nirvana? Nirvana's awesome. When I heard when I heard that a Nirvana song was the theme song for the new Batman movie, I lost my mind. Breathe, pet like. No, man, I am I am allowed. I am allowed to freak out. John is literally throwing all of his college tuition at me. I feel like John alone has paid off a quarter of my college when I go this year. Hey, Pastor, do you listen to Gorillaz? Yes, I love Gorillaz. I love Gorillaz so much. Um, my favorite album by, by them, uh, why am I blanking on the name of it? Um, Plastic Beach is my favorite album by them. It's great. Thoughts on Security Breach? Uh, Security Breach is a flawed game, but despite that, I love it. I love Security Breach a lot. Thoughts on the Rolling Stones? The Rolling Stones is one of my absolute favorites. I think that, um... Like, I think that a lot of their music has this sort of vibe that I really like listening to. I really love listening to, like, 60s and 70s music. Some of my favorite. Like, oh my god, though. Like... John is a... JOHN! I already paid off my new sum. John, my hundred dollars again. What are you doing, John? John, what the hell? Thoughts on Tally Hall. Also love the content. Uh, Tally Hall's amazing. I've listened to every single one of their songs. Uh, my favorite is my my favorite is probably "Time for a Scarecrow." But like, John, you just donated three hundred dollars over the span of like fifteen minutes. What are you doing? How am I supposed to respond to this? What are you doing to me? Like, what the hell? It's just money, man. Also, pay taxes. Money is a- money is a lot, man! Like, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, you... Like, I, d I don't know how to- I don't know what to say right now. I I don't know how to. I don't know how I should be reacting to this. Also, I I should be going back to the library. I've just been running around aimlessly because I don't I don't know how to. Like I'm I'm trying to like process what's going on. I'm also trying to play the game. Say with me, John Paradise moment. John Paradise moment. Thank you, thank you for the five dollars. By the way, I was wondering. Sorry, I need a minute. I'm I'm gonna read your donation. I need to like get a drink of water or something. I. By the way, if you're wondering, the song Creepy Doll is a song made by Jonathan Colton. Also, to a person who asked earlier, I think Clyde is more dangerous when push comes to shove because of tall spines. Yeah, like, physically, Clyde is definitely more dangerous. Like... Dude. Let, Mr. Beast moment. Like, actually, I'm starting to think that John Paradise is just an alias. Like, okay, like, look, like... Thank you so much to not just John, but everyone who's donated. Like, because of you guys, like, because of you guys, I am able to do this and have a, like, a really good time. I was able to quit my job for this because of people like you guys doing this for me. And, like, once again, you do not have to, ever. You should never feel obligated. Squimpus told me on King, wait. Squimpus sold me on King Gizzard and the Lizard Wiz. <laughs> ever listen to Ni Ice Nine Kills? Great horror band. Never have. But they sound really, really cool. I love the name. Oh yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. But like, it's greatly appreciated. And like, John, I don't know where the money's coming from. I hope you're not like, I hope you're not losing any like money that you need for this because I'm gonna feel really bad if like you're giving me like all this money that you need for whatever. But like, I here's to hoping that you don't. And like, you know, if it if it doesn't impact you at all, thank you so much. I I don't I genuinely don't know how to feel about this. Like it uh I have a theory. I think that's a pseudo mansion. I think it's playing with my head. I still hear him. I must find that man and kill him with that with the sickle I found in the forest. Yeah, so the the, the house is like possessing this guy. John, if you're a mob boss, you can tell us. Yeah, you have all your mafia friends here in the, in the stream with me or something? Like, what, what's up, John? You better explain yourself, dude. 
like my th my throat's starting to get strained from how like much I've been like from how like loud I've gotten in the past few minutes. I feel like I need to like I feel like I need to just like let my voice rest for a bit, but we're having fun here. <laughs> like what the hell? So anyway, guys, Spookies, huh? Spookies Jump Scare Mansion. This is a pretty cool part of the game. You're welcome. I'm going to get more money. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. You guys, you guys are just, you guys amaze me. You guys are absolutely insane. Like, you don't even have to be donating money to me. Just being here is, just being here is helping me as much as I need. You guessed right, John Paris is mostly my name. Here's a reward for a successful guest. Also, I'm Italian. We do aim for the kneecaps, but it's also the music and factory work. Dude! All another 50? Also, thoughts on bagged milk. It's a Canadian staple, I love it. I'm no John Paradise, but I'd like to buy you a coffee. Also, do you like Palais Royale? Also, I think I think you like the vibe. Cheers from Canada. Uh, no, I haven't. I've never heard of it, but I'll have to check it out uh, from a fellow Canadian. And like, John, $50 right after. Dude. I feel like I'm just, re I feel like a broken record right now because like, it's it's been like 20 minutes of this. Where is it all coming from? What are you? <laughs> You're donating more money to me right now than you did last stream, and last stream you were absolutely insane, like, what? I need to take another sip of water, man. Everyone chat spam super sticker. Ugh. Guys. I, t I don't know what to say. Like... <laughs> like what? Oh my god. What's your opinion on pasta? It's pretty good. Cry... <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> John, please stop for your own good. I agree, man. Like, you're... You're giving me so much money. We made the streamer cry. <laughs> also, I'm Italian. This hits deep. Also, if you want to say my name, it's pronounced Zatire. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Thoughts on Lemon Demon? Lemon Demon's awesome. I really love Lemon Demon. Lemon Demon's one of my favorite artists. Um, I like their stuff. It's like a mix of like... It's a really fun mix of like comedy and like just genuinely catchy music. No, chat, I'm not okay. I'm not good. I have been donated so much money over the past 20 minutes. I don't know what I did for all this. Like, I don't know where all this is coming from. I'm just, I'm just some dude over here playing a spooky horror game. Like, what? I feel like I'm stealing people's money. You were you simple. Thank you. Thank you. It's so nice of you, gaming age. Also, I hope you guys are ready for a spooky chase sequence, cause uh, he's he's coming. He's gonna he's gonna start chasing me soon. Quick opinion on the concept I have. I have an interdimensional species called voidlings. They live in between dimensions and have a slight humanoid insect appearance. They enter a dimension through shadows and hunt in packs. That sounds awesome. Thank you for the $20 donation. I love the idea. I'm a huge sucker for like, for like insect inspired characters and bugs. I'm really into like entomology. I think that's how you say it. I'm really into that kind of stuff. So anything like bug inspired is instantly like something I'm a huge fan of. So, there it is. There's the, there's the friggin' spooky jump scare boy. I only have like a hundred dollar budget for past right, so I don't waste all my money, so you're fine. You're not stealing money from me at least, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. You're a wonderful person and earned every penny. Thank you. Oh, jeez. 
Yo, SJSO is one of my faves. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. We got some good opinions in the chat here. Thank you for the $20. We made a stream and go through the five stages of grief. How am I supposed to react to this? How am I supposed like... Best streamers feel like they're stealing when people donate large- <laughs> Like I do! I just got super excited when you said you're into entomology because that's my actual field of study. Really? Oh my- you chose such a good field of study! Thank- thank you for the donation and like, I hope that's been going well for you because entomology's so interesting. Um, if I wasn't going into art stuff in post-secondary, like that would be where I would go. Um, does having eyes like that improve depth perception? Uh, absolutely yes. We're gonna break that. I have spent all the money I can out for this simp. I Don't spend everything on me, please. What are your thoughts on a hat in time? I actually just recently bought it. Um, I'm a huge fan of platformer games. So, uh, like, that that game was something I was really excited to try out sometime. I'm, tr I'm trying to, like, talk normally, but, like, my voice keeps breaking. Because, like, I don't know how to react to, like, the last couple minutes. Oh, so yeah, the guy that was chasing us is a pretty cool specimen. <laughs> Celeste's stream went- Oh, man, Celeste is so cool. I love that game so much. It's so much fun. Such a- such a, like, a genuinely, like- It's really- it's, like, really- it's, like, a really good challenge. It's really, like, fun challenging. If you ever feel like Clyder- making Clyder Lankman for the Rivals of Aether Workshop, recommend using a sprite. I definitely will. Not sure if I'm ever gonna be, like, making mods for them in anything, but- I'll definitely think about that if I ever do. Oh, can I kill- can I kill her? No, I cannot. Oh, that's locked! Oh, no! You'll send me the link after the stream? Sounds good. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'm excited to watch it. Have you ever heard of the horror game Duck Season? That's, uh... Yeah, 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 that's the one that's like, uh, with like the weird dude in like the dog costume, right? Yeah, that game, that game looked interesting. I never, I never looked at anything for it because I recently got a VR and I was thinking of trying it. Did you up on Digimon or Pokemon? I was a Pokemon guy. Um, I absolutely love Pokemon. Back whenever I was a little kid, I made a, um, like I made Pokemon videos back when I was this like, this little kid, uh, trying to make YouTube videos. Um, it's... Pokemon is still one of my favorite franchise. Well, okay. We just got what I- what looks like- Wait, okay. Wait. Wait. We just got a- we just got a big donation. Um, let me see. Let me- let me- let me pause to see this real quick. Uh, oh. Let's see this. I ended up binging The Owl House because of you and now I can't wait for season three. Oh, I made you watch The Owl House! That's awesome! Uh, I'm so I'm so excited to uh, hear that I got somebody watching the Owl House. Thank you so much for the donation, John. <laughs> I'm a demon in the night. I'm Pastor's biggest nightmare, Money Man. You're a nice dude. What you doing? What you love? And coincidentally, I love you. I love it too. So money, and thank thank you for the twenty dollars from Nicole Person Art. Hey guys, other John here just wanted to say a drip. WHERE DID YOU ALL COME FROM?! Seriously, what the hell?! John! John, you've donated $400! You've donated so much more than that in the, in the last Bendy stream I did! What?! Thank you! I... 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 I don't know what to say anymore! I genuinely- like, <laughs> you're making me run around in circles, man! I can't focus on the game! This- like, John Gang, thank you! Thank you so much! This stream is like single-handedly paying off like my- like- this- this stream is single-handedly paying off my college year, guys. You fool, I'm also on John's alt accounts. I believe you, you've been donating all stream. Oh, shoot, it's you again. Like, seriously, though, like... 
This is literally gonna be paying off what, like my first college year, man. This is not, this doesn't feel right. Oh, right, wait, I can, I can just beat you up. I find it weird Yogg's cast got me into D&D and inspired one of my NPCs for my DM called the Owl Merchant. But I added my more horror twist to him. Would I, would I inspire my OCs on weird facial expressions I make? <laughs> I get that. I get that. Thank you for the donation. I have small money, so now I say, I, any any donations are like really appreciated. I'm freaking out over the freaking John Paradise ones, but like every single one is really appreciated, guys. Oh, did he? Oh, he killed me. That's my first death of the run. There's that horrifying scene. I didn't get- I was so- It's not that I got greedy, I was just focusing on the insanity that is chat! John is an absolute champ, but seriously, Pastor, you deserve this. You're amazing and super inspirational, even if we bully you, it's out of love. Thank you. You can kill the cow demon, by the way. Oh, good to know. I'll remember that for when he appears again. Uh, let's continue. Oh, there's John here. All you need to say thank you. You make every day come. Thank you. Y'all are being so nice to me. Except for Socks. Socks is being Socks. Socks is keeping me humble. Glad to see that specimen, uh, what, what's the number is he? The puppet dude. Good to see that he's, uh, he was the first character to ever kill me and he was the one who did it again. Oh, so yeah, we're back to room 800, everybody. As a second year art student, I'm buying another. Also, I saw somebody ask earlier uh, what I'm studying. Um, I'm gonna be going into college this September and I'm going into it for video game art and animation and I absolutely can't wait. Um, oh my gosh, John Paradise, $20 more in time, dude. You're the very first person I've, I've ever donated to because you're genuinely the best and most original content creators I've ever come across. Thank you. Like, I feel like a broken record just saying thank you, but I don't know how to react to all this. It's all happening so quickly, and it's all happening at once. Oh, so yeah, we're back here. Um, yeah, though, like, yeah, I'm, I'm studying, I'm gonna be studying, uh, video game art and animation. I can't wait for it. Um, I am a, like, I am a little bit, like, there's a little bit of stress with it where I'm just worried that maybe, like, I won't be able to get videos out as often because I'm gonna be, like, having a lot of workload with that. I'm hoping over the summer to get a lot of videos, like, just made preemptively so that I can give you guys content to enjoy over the course of it because, god damn it, at this, like, you guys deserve that so much for everything. Like, you inspire my art so much. Congrats on being my very first Twitch donation. <laughs> really? Thank you. You're gonna be in an animation major, mad respect. Thank you, yeah, I, I can't wait for it. Um, I was really hoping to use a lot of the stuff I learned from it to actually, um, like, um, be used on my channel to upload some more art projects. Oh yeah, you're the only person I've donated to, I didn't realize that. You're donating this much, and I'm the only person you've ever donated to. What, like? You've almost spent a fa- I feel like you've almost or you have spent a thousand dollars on me. I just joined the live stream and I'm inspired to donate you. Oh my god. What the hell is this stream, guys? You'll like being dead. I promise. Well, okay, yeah, you say flustered Pastor PNG. We have this one. We have this one for like sad, like sad Clyde, but I feel like I don't- I don't feel like- Oh! I don't feel like sad is the vibe I'm going for here. I don't really have a flustered one. You gonna do the DLCs for this game? Yes. Um, I'm probably gonna end the stream whenever I get to the, um, whenever I get to the end of, like, the base game, but I'll definitely do a stream of the DLC after. What about- Also, this marks 900. <laughs> Dude... Yeah, let's make the baby pass to bed cry. 
You deserve all the world, Pastor. Thank you. We need a blushing Clyde PNG. I'll make one, guys. I'll make one just for this. I'll make I'll make a flustered Clyde just for whenever John shows up. Or whenever I receive any donations, because like it's it's really appreciated. When were you, when you were younger, did you aspire to be a YouTuber? Uh, honestly, yeah. Like, basically, as long as I've been watching YouTube, it was kind of my dream to make YouTube stuff and like to be a content creator. You ever played Lost in Vivo? It was made by this by the game's lead devs. Um, I have it on my wish list. I really badly want to play it. It looks really cool, and I love the art style. You simp for Alice while well, we simp for you. It's it's a perpetual cycle. We love your content so much. Sorry, it's not money. It's, you don't need to apologize for donating money to me. It's always appreciated, no matter what. Also, did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. What was I even, what was I even saying? Let me check chat make, to remind myself. What the hell was I going on about before? Guys, I, I, I can't, I, I'm trying to... What was I talking about before I started reading donations, guys? Can you remind me? Like, I, I'm, I'm trying to process everything. No, <laughs> people don't know? Uh-oh. I completely lost my, my, my train of thought. <laughs> Are you winning, son? Also, why do Clyde's teeth look like 50 caliber bullets? Oh, he's, he's very scary. College, I think, video game, art and animation, something like that. Yeah, um... Right, no, I remember, I remember, I was asked if I wanted to be a YouTuber or whatever since I was a kid. Yeah, um, it was always, like, it was always kind of my dream whenever I was a little kid to be, like, a YouTuber. Like, um, like all the people I was watching before. Um, so, like, I started, I remember I started, where the hell am I going, guys? I remember I started making videos whenever I was, like nine or ten um and i made like my original channel was this like crappy little minecraft channel you're so co you're cool af keep being so awesome mate also your characters are fun and hard to draw traditionally and i love your style and art for that damn can't make it one case youtube has a weekly limit <laughs> don't you dare don't you dare donate a thousand dollars to me john I will lose my mind. What, what am I forgetting? Yeah, um, I remember though, like, I made, um, I made my videos on, like, a Minecraft channel, and then after the Minecraft channel, I, um, moved on to Pokemon videos as a kid, and then after that was when I made this YouTube channel, just, like, it was, it was, like, the probably the worst channel I ever made out of them was this one where I just, like, reposted people's Five Nights at Freddy's art and little slideshows and called them tribute videos. Just wanted to know if you've ever heard of Inscription. Yes, actually. In fact, um, whenever I was trying to plan out my next stream, Inscription was one of the games I had people vote for. And also, thank you for the donation. Um, yeah, whenever I- wait, oh, I, I know, I know what I missed. I know what I missed. There was a key right here. Um, yeah, though, um, after the- after that crappy, like, slideshow channel, I had one where I posted, like, speed paints and, like, art stuff. And then that's around the time I also started making those ARGs, like, um, like, My Happy Place, Someone Normal, those channels. Next stream, Pastor, watch your back, but don't do this to me, John. I will start weeping. Like, you- you almost broke me today. Do it, John, do Thank you. <laughs> like, you almost broke me. Other John here also out of cash shield. Spend all your money on me, please. <laughs> the Owl House is good. Love your style. I appreciate the Amity profile picture. Amity's my favorite character in the Owl House. It's such an amazing show. If y'all haven't watched the Owl House, please go watch it. It deserves all the support it can get. It's ending soon. Hey, Clyde, I'm just donating to say thank you for your content. I'm really happy to see you grow and hope you make more fan, hope make more fan art of you. I was the one with the crackhead doodle on Twitter. Right, thank you for the $20. I remember that drawing. It, it looked really, really good. Thank you for making it. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, because I, I made the, I made the My Happy Place channel, because that was around the time I watched Marble Horns. So I was getting really into like ARGs and web series and whatnot. 
Then I made someone normal, which was me sort of messing around a bit more after I finished my happy place. Um, that one didn't really get off the ground too easily. Then I made another art channel. I had, I had a lot of channels, guys. I had a lot of channels. Um, love your art. And have you heard of Franbo? I love Franbo. I love those sort of like side scroller type, like point and click, um, story based horror games. Um, like I'm a huge fan of Sally Face. I actually cosplayed Sally Face whenever I went to this convention that they had in my town one time. Um, I think I posted pictures a while ago of what my cosplay looked like on Twitter. I was actually very proud of it. I had a lot of people approaching me with that. No, Frambo's awesome. I really, really love, um, what's his name? Skeleton. Itward! That's his name. I really, really like him. Will you make a Clyde plush one day? I absolutely want to, yes. By the way, the frog ninja guy from Rivals of Aether you were thinking of his name? Rano. Thank you! Thank you! I forgot his name. Rano is super fun. I love, like, using his bubbles to, like, trap the enemy and just, like, combo them in the air and, like, bounce off of them. He's a very unique fighting game character. He's very, very fun. Have I played Pony Island? Uh, no, but I have played Pony Town. <laughs> and I am not afraid to admit that. My Little Pony's a good show, guys. Found you a month ago. Good entertainment since. Here's some cash. Clyde is cute, spooky as fuck. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pac. It means a lot to hear that, and the donation means a lot to me. Pasha, I'm curious. Where did you get your channel name? Well, well. Um, the pasta part came from me eating a bowl of pasta and thinking an R for some reason would sound cool with it. The spec part that I use in a lot of my social media is just short for the word specter, like ghosts, because I really find ghosts interesting and the word's cool. Pastor is shaking right now, terrified. I'll make a 1K tono at all, all at once. You should be scared. I am terrified. I am not ready for anyone to spend that much money on me. I genuinely feel like I'm robbing you. He was hungry. I was hungry. I was eating my delicious gluten-free spaghetti. Which, if y'all have never had gluten-free spaghetti, it actually tastes just like regular spaghetti, so that's nice. Except don't microwave gluten-free spaghetti. You will regret that. Oh, we're starting to get to where I was. I forget how... I always forget how long this mansion part is. Pastor's robbing people. That's what it feels like with the friggin' size of these donations. Is it canon now that Clyde's afraid of rich people? Yeah, exactly. Clyde targets the poor. Gluten's overrated. I couldn't agree more. All my homies hate gluten. Don't microwave me, please. Yeah. Pastor is the weakest man I've ever seen. Yeah, you are you are absolutely right, Socks. I, I I am not physically capable. Just just that I'm just physically inept. <laughs> no one, literally no one. Jump paradise money jump scare. That's what it feels like! Research is done. Max dono is five dollars five hundred dollars, so is the app. So I need two devices to do it. Be scared John? John. John, I swear to God. John, I swear to God. I don't. Do not. Also, if you microwave gluten-free pasta, it just, uh, it just, it, it comes out very dry and very, like, like, it, it just kind of falls apart. It's really gross. You don't, you don't want to do it. Seriously, though, John... Do not donate a thousand dollars to me, man. I do not deserve that much money in a single donation. You won't see it coming. I don't want to see it coming, man. Like, that's too much money. May hover damn life in <laughs> Fallout New Vegas. May hover damn live on. I. I'm sorry to say I don't get the reference, but I appreciate the donation a ton. It means a whole lot to me. Hey, P hey, will Pastra one million doubloons to smooch him on the forehead? 
a million doubloons, you say. How, how, how much does that can translate to Canadian currency? I'd love Pastor to cry on screen. I bet you would! I bet you would love to see that. Hey, if you love weird stuff like spooky stuff, which you might, I don't know, totally not like a channel about it, I suggest a podcast for it called, uh, called Welcome to Night. I love Welcome to Night Vale. I love it. The podcast is so cool. I love all the weird artsy stuff. It totally, it, it, it inspired a lot of dreams of an insomniac, actually, my story. Just ate an entire pot of mac and cheese, nerds. Good for you. Thank you for the donation. I feel like we need a drawing of Winfrey dunking on Lankman at a basketball game. Absolutely. Well, have a good night. Really enjoy the content if it makes you feel better. If not here, I would I would have spent it on Genshin Impact waifus and husbandos. Thank you so much for being here. You donated so much money and it's all appreciated. You like you just being here was enough. I hope you have a good night. Also, we're getting back to where I was, guys. John is a rich sadist targeting our favorite simp. Like, I guess so, like we're I don't know, man. Yeah, welcome to Night Vale, so awesome. Anyways, watch that. You know how I got these scars? Well, there was this guy. We knew him as John Paradise. Well, one stream he donated, and he, and my my he donated. Yeah, like my my you donated indeed, man. Like holy crap. John is having too much fun. John is tormenting me with his massive bank account. You played Iron Lung? If so, did you like it? Um, Iron Lung's a pretty good game, yeah. I I find the concept really interesting, and I um, I like the, I like how it's just sort of like this fun short horror experience. However, I don't think it's anything I'd ever want to make a video on, just because like, I feel like there's nothing I could say about it that other people haven't already. Oh, thank you, Rock Girl, for the one dollar donation. I appreciate it a lot. John has been donating five dollars this entire time. John is in your ceiling. I wouldn't be surprised. Socks, please. Socks has been torment. Hey, for people who are seeing Socks saying I have so much to say about uh, Iron Lung. It's an inside joke. I get asked to play Iron Lung a lot. Update Pastor is rich. Well, I am, like... I'm gonna feel like it! You're Snafe now only because of stupid YouTube rule. Thank you, YouTube, for stopping John from making poor financial decisions for me while I'm playing Spookies. I just realized that I never had a mentor figure, trial, or leaving home scene. This means the story isn't following the archetypes to make me a traditional hero, which means I can be killed off. Well, it was nice for a little while, at least. I'm so sorry, protagonist man. You always were my favorite in the notes. Have I ever played Mega Man Zero Three? I've played the original Mega Man games, but I've never played the Zero or the Mega Man. Or no, I'm thinking of Mega Man X. I've never, pl I've never played Mega Man Zero Three. Oh, jeez, you again. Okay, we're gonna actually. We're not gonna let ourselves get killed by old merchant man again, because if we are, then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of time spent in that mansion again, and I do not want to do that to myself. Fortunately, axes are useful. What I would do, like, oh. What I would do to have the axe earlier in the game when old puppet boy was chasing me. <laughs> what if John Paradise is Lankman trying to pay off his debt? I wouldn't be surprised. Other John here, you should play with John. <laughs> I appreciate the other John showing up for some support as well every now and then. I've donated before, but I thought I would because you're really cool and very creative. Well, creator. Thank you so much, Epic Jag. I appreciate the $5. That's really nice of you. I'm gonna let my health regenerate here. My two favorite things, Pastra and, Pastra and Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I can see from the profile picture. I love the Spooky profile picture. Thank you for the $5 donation. It means a lot to me. Also, we managed to escape the merchant this time, guys. We're not doing that stupid mansion again. We can actually progress the game now. <laughs> I hope you're all happy.
I think there's only one specimen left, and that's, um, that's the siren. Day two, food supply depleted, water supply at 30%, mental health deteriorating, leaving notes behind to help others and mark where I've been. Sucks to be you. Hey, Pastor, I absolutely adore your content, and you're such a genuinely sweet and wholesome dude. I can't believe you're younger than I am. A little baby boy. Anyways, it's not much, but please take my- $20 is more than enough! Like, please, that- Dude, like, $5 is a lot to me. Like, the- Like, I appreciate it so much. Thank you, you- You're so nice. You're so, so nice to me. Yeah, we're actually getting pretty close to the end of the game. Have you ever heard of the Magnus Archives? It's an amazing horror mystery podcast. I was asked about it earlier this stream, and I was and I was told about it um, in a previous stream as well. It sounds really interesting. I'll have to look it up. Do you know about the Friday Night Funkin' Bob mod? If so, what do you think about it? I'm not too uh, well versed in Friday Night Funkin' mods. Uh, Friday Night Funkin' I think is a pretty cool game, but I never really keep up to date with the stuff, except for the um, except for like the massive like crossover, like fan base crossover thing that was done. I thought that was amazing. War, war never changes. Thank you for the donation, that was very ominous. And thank you for the $10. Oh, and if the plush comes out, put a tribute for John in. I will if I can, absolutely, thank you. Oh, Pastor, I made a new cup. John! <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for the one dollar, Mecca McLean. John, what? I... John, it's another hundred dollars. I guess well, Jungle Monkey, uh, thank you for the ten dollars. What? How? How? You know I can't repay this, right? Like, what a- You're giving way too much to me. John is inevitable, yeah. Hype John, yes John. I can't- I can't pay this back. It- like, my content can't be worth this much to you. That's a lot of damage, yeah. Like, you've spent- like, you've- with this stream and the last unwholesome cooking video when, coffee or tea, if which kind, if your answer is anything other than green, you're wrong. <laughs> tea for the win. Uh, I was always really big. I really like, like, mint tea. Like, John, dude. How, like, is, I, Like, okay, again, first of all, where is this money coming from, John? Second of all, is is my content really worth this much money to you? Like, I appreciate it so much, but like, what? You can kick Linkman out now. <laughs> I don't need him, man. He's, he doesn't need to pay my rent, his rent anymore. Mint green tea? I, I mean, I, I just have the mint tea. Your content's worth a lot. Well, we love you that much. Take your make our money. This is so much, though. Like, I... I'm just some dude sitting at a computer playing a horror game I like, and... 
I never see this happen. I'm just... Hi, 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 hi. Hello, thanks for the $10. Content's worth a lot. You guys are... What did I do to deserve you guys? What, what did I do? I don't understand. Where did you all come from? Why are you all so sweet? Why are you all so nice to me? I... Excited to watch the VOD later, I can imagine. If John donates another 1k, you have to do- huh, Let me pause this. If John donates another 1k, you have to do something to pay him back. I- I don't know how to! How do I pay back this much money?! Yes, your content is worth. We all love you. Hi, Pastor. Got things to, to say. One, this donut was made at room eight eight six nine. Two, when the Discord goes public, again, John needs a role called John King Lord of Money. He's getting a role. I run out of money. Guys, okay, stop spending all your money on me. Stop, please. I'm trying to be, like, really high energy right now, but I don't know how I- I'm trying to process, like, the last, like, hour? It was like half an hour? I'm losing a concept of time here, guys. Thank you, Gig, for the $20. That's so nice of you. I just recently got a new set of dice. They glow in the dark and are my babies. So as a fellow D&D player, what is your favorite set of dice? Okay, so I've got this set of dice. I've got this set of- I got this set of dice. Um... Socks, how the hell did you know I was covering my face? E either way, um... I got this set of dice that I like to use. It's like this black set of dice that's like Halloween themed. Like the- like they're covered in like these like candles and it's all like orange. And then the natural 20s are like these jack-o'-lanterns. And, um, I forget what's special about the natural ones, but like this slash mark or something. It seems Pastor's feeling a little bit fleshless when I'm him with a control shock. Yeah. You sounded muffled. It was very obvious. Okay, good to know. The muffle, probably, yeah. Pastor's- I love pathetic Pastor. We were getting a lot of that! Put a maid dress on Clyde next, John 1K. I will! Hey, Pastor, thanks for being great. Thank you for donating and being here and being so nice. Whoa, my game froze for a second. Uh, what's it? Uh, the vultures pick the flesh off my bones as I burn and was playing. <laughs> that is extraordinarily dark and deep sounding. Um, thank you for the donation, though. Um, be prepared for a jump scare, guys. If a jump scare happens in this room I'm currently in. Um, just warning you. It's gonna happen any second, and it has been killing me. Any- There it is! Oh my god. I don't know who you are, but you see my good taunt and you have- don't aim me when you don't know who I am, damn. Other John here, read the Bible. Gotcha. Shut up and take our money. I, I have- I guess so! I guess I am! I just play the game. John, shut up, shut up and take my money. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, this isn't even mentioning the stuff that- This isn't even mentioning the stuff that happened during the Bendy livestream, man. Pay us back by your content. Oh, I will. Believe me. The Bendy and the Ink Machine video I'm currently working on is the biggest video I've ever made. And I'm gonna make sure that is the best fucking video that's ever been made. You, I promise. Telling my mom about you, she called you imposter. Uh-oh. That was not even spooky, lol. Well, I was warning ya. Glad you weren't scared by it. I will make it the best... The best video ever, though. Put Langman in a finely refined maid dress. <laughs> All right, here we are, guys. Room 900. Last 100 floors before, uh... Uh, here we go. $20. Here's some money. 
for some more dice. P.S. Your content is great. Is worth every penny we give. Watch out for the jump scare. Yeah, I saw. I saw it. Just imagine these are all pennies and we're pelting you with them. Oh dear God. That that makes it sound a whole lot more violent. I don't know who the poster person is, but he's cool. 100 more levels before the stream's over, guys. Let's enjoy every second of this. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I believe there's only one new specimen left. Um, chat, what would you... Would you say that pastors of sim... Chat, say no. Chat, say no for me. Other John here, more money. Thank you, John. Yeah, chat, say no. Say no. I'm not a sim. Say no. Would I ever do a DND live stream? Probably not. I'm seeing a very large blend between yeses and noes. Oh boy, John Paris. One last one for now. You deserve the money. Take it and enjoy it, man. You don't owe anyone anything, including me. Now shut up and take my money, Pastor. And please call me TJ. Okay. I'm still gonna feel like that, but I'm... I'm glad to hear that. Wow, this chat is full of yeses. This chat is absolutely full of yeses. Uh, to be fair, I put this on myself. Giant simp. Says you, Socks. Like, Socks, that is actually so rich coming from you. Like, I'm literally being called a simp by the definition of the word. What do you mean? I'm innocent. Yeah, okay, Socks. I believe you, Socks. Oh, here we are. Here we are at the Sirens area. Alright, so, yeah, this... I remember I said at the start of the stream that this was probably my least favorite out of the specimens, but the area is still really cool. I love the whole water theme. Just wanted to say that I love making fan art for you. It's been rough right now for me, but drawing for you makes me happy. And I'm making Lake Man Plus you right now. Well, thank you so much. I... I hope that things I hope that things are better for you. I hope that um, I hope that things improve for you. I wish you the best. I really love the Winfrey fan art that you made a while ago. Bumpy <laughs> Pastor, thank you. LCS Pastor, you a simp, but who for Pastor? Who simping for, bud? You, <laughs> John, buddy. You and I both know who I'm being accused of. Pastor is no simp, so I gave him more to say this again. Also, socks about that art. It's over too. <laughs> Water slug, Pestra. Uh, there was a note here. Research report one. More whales are being shipped to the facility tomorrow. One, one for a health inspection and two that are already dead for autopsies. More and more beached whales keep appearing around those islands and I still can't find what's causing it. I believe this, no, where was I? Where was it that I want to go to get the lantern? The research facility is now in dire need of more engineers. We have a whole block that is flooded and some vital staff are missing. Yeah, whale time, whale time. Let's go chat, whale time. Wherever the whale is, I'll find the whale. I'll find the whale just for you guys. Don't worry. Oh, here's the whale. Okay, you guys ready for this? It's whale time. Whale 15D has died much sooner than I'd expected. I was away on holiday. I regret not being here, but I had estimated it would live much longer. The team did the autopsy, said nothing. Seemed to be wrong with the lungs, but the stomach had a circular hole. <laughs> you see the whale time in my peripheral. But the stomach had a circular hole about two feet wide in diameter all the way through the outside of the whale. This is pretty much confirms a parasite is causing the death. Whale time! Let's go! Look, look, look at the big old whale. Okay, can I be real with you guys? I think, like, giant underwater creatures are, like, one of the most intimidating things on the planet to me. Like, for basically as long as I've been around, I've genuinely found, like, massive marine life, like, really terrifying. And that's kind of led to me having, like, this really strong fascination with, like, underwater creatures and sea life. At this point, Chad is simping for Pastra and me even more. Well, thank you. That means a lot to hear. Uh, that's what it feels like. Yeah. I think that was kind of the reason why this specific specimen is not really my favorite is I saw an aquatic themed, um, I saw an aquatic themed area and I was expecting some like big scary monster. Also, hey guys, look, it's the amnesia reference. Uh, yeah, cause this area is very heavily amnesia inspired. 
Whale 15A is still alive, but gets into fits of thrashing and is surfacing more often than natural. I think there may be a problem with its lungs, but I don't have any tools that would allow me to check it without dying. I will have to allow it to die from whatever is causing it and then do an autopsy. And we have another note here. Research Report 2. 14D has strange small bite marks. They appear from another small mammal, but the strangest thing about them is their placement. They are in even rows inside the whale's stomach, all about five feet from the bottom of the stomach lining. You know, I was expecting, like, I was expecting the monster in this area to be, like, some, like, big sea creature, so, you know, like, the whole siren thing is pretty cool, but, like, it wasn't what I would have wanted to see. And then I watched carelessly as the sea rose above the sky, casting waving shadows over the world. I saw the silhouettes of creatures both familiar and forgotten, and suddenly I found myself falling upwards towards an ocean of darkness. Ooh. I wish it was super big. Big ho- <laughs> Socks! Socks, buddy. Socks, sometimes you just don't need to talk. Just saying, just saying. Watch the whale, watch the whale, witness the truth. That's a- Y'all are sending me some really cryptic donations. Thank you anyway, though. I forget. Thank you, uh, hello for the $9 donation. I forget what I needed to do with this here. I'm listening while I draw. I need to go check a reference image, but I'm scared I'm gonna miss John's final smash. J John's done. John is done. John is not donating to me anymore tonight. Uh, thanks you for the $10. Do you like SCP? Thank you for all your videos. We love you, Pastor. Cheers for the dark zone in on Brazil. Um, yeah, I love SCP. Um, it's, I think it's one of the coolest ideas for, like, pretty much anything I've ever seen. I love the whole, like, collective of people all working together. Like, one big art collaboration. I love seeing all the different unique, um... I love seeing all, like, the unique different, uh, ideas and creative takes coming from all the people who work on it. It has some of my favorite characters that I've read about in a while. Like, I'm a huge, huge fan of, um... The, the Scarlet King. I think he's really interesting, and I think he's really cool looking. Yeah, uh, wait, I think... How am I forgetting this? How am I forgetting this? Other John here, are you sure John's done? He better be done. No, there, I think it was, it was like the weird, I think it was the weird poem. There was like a number on the weird poem or something. I know it's one, like the number code is one of these. If you think about it, we live in a John society. Alright, I've already been in here. These last, like, these last, like, 200 rooms that you guys have watched has just been me aimlessly running around trying to, like, find where I'm going. No, I want the- I need the weird poem, right? That dumbass is like- LEAVE ME ALONE, SOCKS! LEAVE ME ALONE! I'm easily- I'm easily disoriented. It's a horrible flaw of me. Where the hell is it? I can't remember where the weird poem was. I know that's gonna be what it was. You gotta bear with me, chat. Ah! Where am I going? No! He forgot. What am I forgetting? There we go. 4132. There 4132. Okay. 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 I've redeemed myself. There we go. There we go. You should play a rage game with John's money. Like each time you scream, you lose $10. No. No. All right. There we go, chat. We can continue the game now. 
That's not where I want to go. I want to go to the special looking door. There we go. There we go, chat. Now it's time for us to play some amnesia. Also, yeah, like, this, this segment is so amnesia-inspired, but, like, man, I really, really love the music here. It sounds, like, super peaceful while also having, like, this really sinister vibe to it. I find it really cool. Why is Pastor so quotable? Because I'm cool like that. I not see her until she was like two feet from my face. <laughs> okay. We're okay. We're okay. She's got nothing on us. We just run across these box. These bo box. Ah, I can't say. I can't speak anymore, guys. I just got to that time of night where speech is actually just failing me. I'm blind. Probably. I do need glasses. Ah! Alright, alright. Easy mode. I rem now, if I remember correctly, this segment is, like, really, really long. Pastor screaming in lowercase. You have a Discord server. Yeah, I do. Um, it's not currently open to the public. However, it will be after, um... The release of my next video so anyone who wants to join that look out for it all right we're on land again yeah i remember this section time will tell fate of all behest of the hourglass ps my first ever tono to anyone well i'm glad you made it as poetic as you could thank you for the five dollars Use John's money to commission a full live animated VTuber model of Clyde for live streams and vids. I think that'd be awesome. That would be pretty neat. Like, not gonna lie, that would be that would be a good use of all the stupid amount of money I was given by him. Thank you for the five dollars, by the way, and thank you T Cushman for the two dollars. Pastor has the most pathetic scream ever. Thanks, socks. I appreciate it. You're, you're a good mod, Socks. Make VTuber Clyde wiggle constantly? Okay. That would look really weird. Do you want to listen to some tunes I made in an excessive bait? Oh, I jumped into her! I am not paying attention. If you decide to get glasses, you should consider getting blue light filters. I do have blue light filters on my prescription glasses, actually. It only costs a little bit more, but, like, I'm on the computer so much I invested in that right away. I feel like the VTuber mall would be f would be for stream. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I would never use that in my videos. I like my art I made too much. Other John here, VTuber's a good idea. Thank you for the $2. I, I, I agree. And when the world shall listen, and when the world shall see, and when the world remembers, that world shall cease to be. Okay, thank you for the $5 Hero Prime's Apprentice. Why are y'all like, why are y'all becoming Edgar Allan Poe in my chat all of a sudden? Not complain, it's kind of interesting to read, but like, where y'all coming from with this? I could draw my own model and pay someone else to rig it. That's true. I know in uh, I know in the college course I'm gonna be studying. Um, there's gonna be a whole section on like uh, making and like rigging these animated models. So I was thinking for that I was going to make like a model of Clyde and then start using it for the channel potentially. Cause I figured that'd be a good way of mixing together both YouTube and also um, my studies. I will sim for VTuber Pastor for reasons. Uh, yeah. I believe you. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Yeah, this section is really long. I know, too, like... I don't know if you guys ever seen Endless Mode of this, but, like... When the Siren shows up in Endless Mode, her segments are so long. And she's especially bad in Endless Mode because, like... 
She can also be combined with people like Specimen 2 who put the goo on the ground. So when you're trying to get away from her in the water, you can just sometimes run through a puddle of goo you didn't know was there. And when you're waiting on the boxes, Specimen 2 can just run up and start beating the crap out of you if you're not fast. Uh, my favorite specimen is Specimen 11. I think um, the whole like demon design of it's super cool. I love like the whole fast food like type of like environment you find it in. I find his chase music and mechanics are super cool. I love Specimen 11. I took that exact class this semester. Rigging is torture. Is torture, but the effort is worth it. Focus on consistently updating the model bit by bit. And don't let perfectionism overtake it. Thank you for the advice. I'll be sure to remember that. Also appreciate when I see someone else who, uh, took the same course as me. Specimen eats the deer, right? Yeah, specimen eats the deer. And the deer lord is my second favorite specimen. My least favorite specimen is the one we're currently dealing with right now. Um, like, it's not a bad specimen by any means. I like the music and the environment's pretty cool. And I like the amnesia inspiration. But, like, I'm just not too big on the whole siren thing. Admit nothing. Blame everyone. Be bitter. Admit nothing. Blame everyone. Be happy. Believe anything. Forget everything. Be quiet. Thank you for the donation. Y'all are... Making me question my reality. Okay, I know a dude who could rig it for you if you want. You know where I am. In your walls. Also Patreon. Oh. You're on my Patreon. Thank you. I'm glad to know that. And I'll see how. Be sure to, uh... Oh yeah, right. You're John Paradise too. I... Your name's mixed me up. I know you're on my Patreon. I saw you on there. You don't need to be there with all those freaking stream donations. John Discord moment. Yeah, absolutely. When you look into the whales, you only scroll. My god, you guys are- You guys are all poets now! God, I forget how many rooms this is. Like, when is this segment over? Fever tuber pastor will be hot. He will become my Alice Angel. Oh, I see! Good to know! Thanks for the five dollars. Oh, I just ran right into her. You are living poetry, like... I don't know where everyone's like... Everyone in the chat just suddenly has an English degree. Well, I just finished your ONG, that was so fun. Well, thank you, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to see that you uh, had fun with the ARG. It took- it was a lot of fun to put together. I, uh... Really, really loved making that finale video, Langman's Game. Probably the second video I've put the most work into. This new Bendy video has taken that spot, though. I'm out. Have a great stream. Been fun. Thank you for being here, and thank you for the uh, thank you for the donation right at the end. I hope you have a good night or day or whatever it is for you right now. We can't keep me. Hey, Pastor. Hope we can all play games together again soon. Hey, Isaac. What's up, man? Thank you for the five dollars. I'd absolutely love to play games with you guys again sometime. Y'all are a really, really fun group to play with. And I, uh, I, I uh, watched your most recent video. Uh, I watched your most recent video today. I've been loving all the stuff you've been putting out recently on like the smaller indie horror games. It's been really, really cool seeing you cover that kind of stuff. You cannot believe. I, you cannot believe now that you'll never feel better. That is not <laughs> true. You are sure to be happy again, knowing this truly, believing it. You will make, will make you less miserable now. Well, I'm glad Abraham Lincoln had that to say for me. Thank you for the ten dollars. <laughs> oh hey, it's been a while since I've seen you. Turn back to a puddle. Thank you. <laughs> so we were pastor doesn't speak and leaves Clyde just there. Clyde knows what you've done. Clyde knows everything. Omori oh, stream when? Uh, I was planning on streaming Omori pretty soon, actually. My one big concern about streaming Omori is that I just fear that the chat will end up spoiling the game for me, so I may end up having somebody else reading the chat while I play. Um, that might be the easiest way to avoid spoilers. Because, like, not that I don't trust you guys, but I don't trust you guys to not spoil the game for me.
Reject solid form, return to puddle. Oh, what I could give, what I would name. Wow, forgive me, Chad, I can't talk anymore. What I would give to be puddle again. Other John here. The other VTuber should be female. Please don't make the pasture plus until I have money. I I can't guarantee that. I just hope that I just hope that you can get it if you want it. <laughs> Return to puddle venom. Clyde is my waifu. Good choice of waifu. Damn pasture really has it out for green jolly ranchers. I do. They're not my favorite kind, therefore they suck. Best jolly ranchers are the blue ones. Gather the flower. I don't know how to say that name, but thank you for the two dollars. I'm gonna go buy the entire stock of Clyde plushies. Sorry, chat. You can't! You can't do that, socks! That's for everyone! I'm not playing any arcade games. I've got... I've got a game to finish. Can't be playing no arcade games in this funny little room. Best star purple, fight me, pastor. I mean, purple's not bad. It's just they're not blue, which is the ideal flavor of Jolly Rancher. Wait, Pastor's making a makeshift plush? I want to. I want to in the future. Oh, hey, Five Nights at Freddy's reference, by the way, guys. This is the entire reference. It's just, it's just this. Hi. The real simp was the friends we made along the way. I couldn't agree more. All right, that's enough of that's enough of <laughs> Spooky's phone guy. I love, <laughs> I love Otto the Otter. Perish. No YouTube money <laughs> limit won't let me give you fifty. Uh, it's two dollars is fine. You can, you can. <laughs> I don't need fifty. Oh, hey, we're being chased by Ringu again. I've been, I feel like I've been seeing Ringu a lot. Thoughts on Lisa the Painful? That's another game on my Steam wish list. Never tried it though. Have you ever watched Adventure Time? God, I love Adventure Time. Um, Adventure Time was like my main cartoon growing up, and I really, really, really love it to this day. Um, I need- I, I- I never did end up, like, finishing it. However, I have watched, uh, I did just kind of, like, kind of skip the ending because there was a lot out at the time I was trying to catch up, and I ended up watching, um, Obsidian, and I absolutely love that. I live for Marceline and Princess Bubblegum. I absolutely love Adventure Time, though. Do I like Steven Universe? I used to. Um... Steven Universe was a show I really loved until I saw the ending. And, I don't know, the ending of the show just completely ruined it for me. Only 30 more floors, you're right. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. We're getting close to the final boss. Pastor says gay rights. Absolutely. We are on route to the Axeman ending. That's what I've been trying to get this playthrough. Uh, the music that you were just hearing is Specimen 4. It's Ringu. Her music is some of my favorite. Win so I can sleep. Don't worry, I got you! We're almost there! We're only ten rooms away from the final boss. Uh-oh! You're not a person I can fight. Would love to watch you, uh, watch a complete playthrough of the upturn from you. Your video really got me interested in the game. Well, I, can, I can play the upturn sometime on stream if you want. I've just got a lot of games, uh, I've just got a lot of games that I have been wanting to play. Also, here we go. Five more rooms. Thank you for the two dollars. Here we go, guys. Five rooms left and the game will be over. We're almost at the final battle. Then, uh, after this stream's over, I'm gonna continue working my ass off for the Bendy video, and then, uh, we'll play some of the DLC, uh, in my next stream. Alright, hope you're all excited. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. Yeah, we have five rooms left. Here we go, here we go. Alright, chat. Here we are. Room 999. The last room before we hit a thousand. 
Uh, to those of you who do not know what's coming, uh, to those of you who do not know what this final battle is like, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, and to those of you who haven't seen the ending of the game, I hope you're ready. Uh, V2 Pass, you're gonna be sick with John's, with John's money. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I went over my $100 limit. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You didn't need to do that, just letting you know. <laughs> All right, if y'all are ready, here we go. Here we go, the exit. We made it out, made it to the end. <gasps> Wowzers, I walked into adventure time. Opinion on the back rooms? The back rooms is awesome. I love it as a concept. Really freaking creepy though. We made it, guys. We're in Pyro Land from Team Fortress 2. Everything's so happy. Uh oh. You've entered the back rooms. I want to release the other, uh, I want to release the other, uh, characters as plushes someday. Yeah, here we go. Time for the final battle. Hope y'all are ready for this. It's actually a really fun, uh, it's actually a really fun ending segment. I actually forget what I'm even supposed to do here, actually. So that door was... Oh, there we go. When will Dreams of an Insomniac come out? Um, I was thinking... Uh, I was hoping to work on... Um, I was, I was hoping to work on some, like, regular videos and then maybe start working on that by the background. Now this is the back rooms. Oh yeah, you're right. This is about the be beginning of the end. This is what the canny use of fear about twisting the knife and slicing the skin. Might be my final words. Oh, okay! Thank you for the donation. It's final boss time. Alright, here we go. Here we go, chat. Boss fight time. And let's all just take a moment to admire the friggin' music here as well as the friggin' soundtrack. I just said the music as well as the soundtrack. Okay. I really like the soundtrack here. I feel like this fight's really cool. Ooh. We got this. This... We gotta shoot those when they come at us. I just kind of sucked at it. Okay, watch this. And we destroy him. We destroy him. See, he's got nothing on us. He's got nothing. Yeah, I'm at the final boss already. I really like spookies. Pastor likes his axe. I do like my axe. It's how I'm gonna- it's how I'm gonna get a different ending than the normal one. I've been trying to- I've been trying to get the- Different ending for this the whole time. It's getting real hard to see. I feel like a lot of these particles were added back added after the fact. Why can't I talk? I never believed shaking my head.
Kirby. This really is what Kirby final bosses are like, actually. Like, that, that's one of the things I love about Kirby games, though. You have, like, this cutesy, adorable game, and then the final boss is, like, this horrible Eldritch monster. Caught in 4K, my guy. Thank you for the $2 donation right at the end here. God, I love the detail with those pillars, how it's, like, a bunch of screaming faces. This boss fight's so creepy. I love this specimen. Alright, this should be the end of it, I think. Yeah, there we go. Congratulations. You did it. It was interesting watching you swing your axe around like that. I know you'll make a fine specimen. Oh, damn, that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not nearly as dramatic as I was expecting it to be. Normally, normally the ending of the game is way more dramatic than that. I didn't realize it was just gonna be like bad ending. Just flashes on my screen immediately. Yeah, that. Yeah, that was Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Everybody, my second favorite horror game ever made. Um, I think like to give like a cl my closing thoughts on this game. Um, get like I guess the thing. The thing that drew me into Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion whenever I first discovered it was, uh, like, like I said at the start of the stream, the art style as well as the sort of comedic approach it seemed to have. Because, like, my three favorite art styles for any horror game is, like, pixel art, hand-drawn animation, and, like, PS1-style graphics. And I noticed that all three of those were present in this game with a lot of the specimens. So it made me really want to try it out. But then, like... As I played through it, I was kind of drawn to the game sort of, like, it had this creepy atmosphere and it seemed like it had a genuine story going on, but it also had, like, this fun sense of humor and it wasn't afraid to be, like, super over the top. And, like, I think the thing I also love is the fact that, like, all the areas and all the specimens seem to have, like, their own self-contained stories that are completely individual and are also connected to the game at the same time. So it feels like you're kind of venturing your way through a bunch of these small, short horror stories and then dealing with them all at once as you travel and discover new ones. Also, of course, you know, there's a lot of post-game content. There's the two DLCs, there's um, the Endless Mode. There's just a lot for you to do when the game's over. Uh, yes, I have played all the DLC in the game. But yeah, um, John is a madman, by the way. You're right, John is. But, like, everyone, everyone who kind of, uh, donated to me, I kind of view as being a mad lad tonight. Y'all were amazing. Um, but yeah, that's Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I'm gonna let these credits play. But, um, yeah, I hope, I hope that everyone enjoyed watching me play this because I was hoping for my next, um, I was hoping for my next stream to be Spooky's once again. I wanted to play through the hospital and the dollhouse DLC as well as potentially doing some endless runs if I beat those quickly. But uh, yeah, that was Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion for now. Um, now that we're all done here, I'm going to get going to start working uh, some more on my massive Bendy script. Uh, thank you, Gaming Age, for the two dollars. You have a good uh, you have a good day, night, or afternoon, or whatever's going on for you too. But um, oh my God, we're getting. A couple donations at the end here. Um, you're my favorite content creator, and uh, we <laughs> love your stuff. The ARG and all of it. Also, I've noticed that both your top horror games has an axe, and I thought that was funny. True! I, I have very similar taste in it with a lot of my games. In the beginning, there was crying. In the middle, there was confusion. In the end, there was silence. Final message. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you to everyone. Oh my god, my voice. Thank you to everyone who decided to come here. Thank you to everyone who sat with me from the beginning to the end of the stream. Good night, Pastor. This was so fun. Thank you, uh, Cro Neon. I appreciate the donation at the end. 
And thank you so, 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 so much to everyone who decided to, like, come here and donate to me today. Like, you should never, ever, while watching me, feel like you have any obligation to give me your money. You being here is all I need. It is all the support I need. Anything else extra is just that. It's extra. It is appreciated. It is just helping me out. Other John here, good night. Thank you so much. And thank you, Super Small Bean, for the one dollar. Yeah, thank you all so much. You're all the best community I- <coughs> Oh my god, my throat. <coughs> Zardy's Maze? I've heard about it. I'll have to check it out. Thank you for the donation at the end. Yeah, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for the donations. I'm gonna go rest for a bit, and then I'm gonna start working on the script. You've all been absolutely amazing. I wish you all the best. Um, thank you for the donation at the end. Um, and as I say in my videos, uh, 